Hello, and welcome to Cold Hard Witch. I am the Friendly Neighborhood DM, also known as the FN DM, and this is Saturday night on Lawful Stupid. We are going to be doing a playthrough of the Rime of the Frost Maiden, and joining us around the campfire for this live stream D and D game, we have none other than Herrick, the clerically speaking warrior. We have Fariel, the dra uh, the rogue. Uh, we've got Flynn, the fighter. We've got Zalvana, the bard. We have. <laughs> Almost said Nate, which is he is Nate, but Nate. we call him the Professor, and uh, of course Xander, the Wizard. Hello, friends, and welcome. All right, so recap: When last we left our intrepid adventurers, we, they were heading down the East Way towards East Haven, having just bumped into three kobolds in a trench coat, and adorably enough, earlier in the episode. Paul the Axebeak, who, yes, Paul now the has a token. <laughs> um, so Thank you to Z for that token. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much, Z, <laughs> uh, for the token and the choice clip grabbage. Delightful. Um, so, but yes, um, the party was supposed to retrieve a shipment of iron that had been left out in the snow after a group of dwarves were attacked by a yeti. What they stumbled upon after a blizzard and a mighty little uh, uh, stomp through the wilderness was a pack of goblins who were freezing and miserable and apparently could be bought off for 10 silver and a blanket. So with the party's deft persuasion uh, underhand, they went about their merry way, returned the shipment to Bryn Shander and are now on their way to the East Way to find the cold hearted killer. And, and that returning that iron also netted us a discount in Bryn Shander. Uh, also with, true. With that uh, with that that group, yeah. Uh, so that discount was as part of part of that completed quest. However, uh, Flynn the fighter did send the three kobolds back to the blacksmith, <laughs> so the discount might be in peril when next you come back to Bryn Shander, or, or uh, who knows? Who no, knows? I, I, I'm I'm assuming that Garn is going to adopt them and have three children when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I also throw in Ryan that the the three kobolds in a trench coat, funny as they were, did mention. That their tribe had been worshiping an ancient white dragon. A dragon. Which is kind of frightening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, okay. amongst all this joyous romping around in the snow and snowball fights and hot mugs and brownies and whatnot, um, there's also death lingering in the snows and the skies and in the forests and in the towns. So, while the adventurers are doing a fantastic job of staying alive, there are indeed, you know, White claw walkers and ancient white dragons that roam the lands. So, oh my god, you guys, they're back! I see it when I believe it. <laughs> oh my god, I lost my show. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, but the party has been uh, able to make their way down the east way, it's such a fine way to East Haven, where they find yay. themselves now. Yay! Do, 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 do. So East Haven, everybody. East Haven is one, uh, it's like stepping back into Icewind Dale's past. Uh, it is a town that was founded, oddly enough, by what party members? By thieves. Thieves. Thievery. Thievery is <laughs> right. indeed. That's right. It is one of the few towns in all of Faerun wherein mm -hmm. pickpocketing is legal. And in fact, in all the towns, in the, all the towns, all the shops in the town, there are several signs around that say, watch thy pockets. Because... Again, as I say, you can be, uh, uh, th those of you with uh, uh, the gift of sleight of hand will find the town lovely. Those of you with lesser perception will be saddened and broke. Hmm. So be aware of that. Um, but as you walk into the town of East Haven, we had a couple of rumors that we had heard about the town. Party members, do we remember what those were? Um, well, yes. there was a <laughs> red mage that was just uh, publicly executed uh, about a week ago because he had presumably fireballed some innocent civilians. He murdered a bunch of people somehow. I don't know if we know exactly how. True, true. And Captain Indra is looking for some help with some uh, some items. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So the captain of the guard, Imdra Argalath, is looking for some adventurers to help her out with a mission, quest, thing. 
Um, and so whether or not this is in relation to, yes, the Red Wizard that was just recently burned in the town square, which everybody loved, you know, it was a nice heartwarming event. Mm. Among I mean, his other... heart got warm. Yeah, yeah um, among other parts of his body. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, as you come into the town, walking through the Eastway Gate, you notice that, unlike Bryn Shander, uh, this town has no walls. Like, it is just one sort of giant roaming town after shop, after building, after building, and it all sort of sits on the uh, on the lake of Lac Den Cher. Um, and as you go ahead and enter into the town, a couple of the guards are standing by the, the main gateway as you kind of come through. And, Welcome to East Haven. Be sure to join us for the festival in the town square. Uh, we will. Thank, thank you. When thank will this be? Festival will begin this morning and then travel into... He looks over at the next guard and says, well, I guess it would be the night, but it is the night. Most of the night. So, two? Yeah, that sounds good. So, it'll be uh, going to about two of the night. Amazing. All right, right. you sound uh, awfully you. enthusiastic. Yeah. Are you going to perform? No. No. Oh. Is anyone performing? I suppose. Um, they've... Uh, I've got a fella who can, uh, a little dwarfy fella who does a, a bit of grappling in a wrestling pit. All are welcome to challenge him. Uh, there is uh, a Quid, who is the uh, the town champion eater of, uh, of knucklehead pies. Yeah, I watched him eat a couple. It's disgusting. Like, no wonder he wins. I can't hold my lunch down watching him. It, easy, easy, easy. I'm, I'm describing. Um... There are also a couple of uh, soothsayers, archery contest, you know, the like. How do I sign up? Oh, um, head to the town hall. Uh, speak with Prudence. She will see if uh, if you would like to sign up for any of the events. All right. I'm sorry, Pru Prudence? Who is Prudence? Prudence Darkwall. She is the, uh, the speaker's uh, second in command. Basically, she's, uh, he's, uh, well, I guess you could say s secretary. Oh, no, don't call her a secretary. She's, she's more than that. She's, um, she's, uh, assistant speaker. She's the assistant to the speaker. There's a difference. Anyway, that's who she is. Prudence, it, does she have a last name? Uh, oh, God, I'm, I'm an arsehole. Um, um, Darkwald. Prudence Darkwald. Fine. Darkwald. Darkwald. Got it. And and the speaker? Who's he? Oh, that would be uh, Dennis Whalen. Mm hmm. Popular fellow? Hmm? Oh, yeah. No, no. He's, um, he's convinced that, um, by holding a festival to the goddess Brigid, uh, that he can somehow lift the uh, the rhyme. Hmm. So he's behind oh. the festival then. Oh yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's convinced that um, by appeasing to some of the other gods, that he can somehow have the town of East Haven freed. Hmm. Well, okay. maybe maybe if not freed, maybe just. Spared for a few hours. Uh, nothing, nothing else has worked. Uh, I don't see why trying that would be. So he's an idiot then. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I'll, I'll, <laughs> don't, don't say it. He's our employer. Uh, look, look. There are some people who believe that all, all real is uh, is punishing us for some reason, and others, no one knows. So, uh, speakers just. Throwing it at the wall. See what sticks. I mean, it's worth a shot. <laughs> yeah, right. Worth a shot. Go ahead and piss off the ice maiden. And then have us be covered in another block of ice. This will be great. Does, does Oriel have a reason to punish East Haven? Well. No. I mean, I, well, I wouldn't think so. Then why would you assume she was? Look around, man. 
It's been freezing for two years. Look, if somebody throws you out of your entire land for two years, you don't think they pissed at you? I'm just saying her problem, it would stand to reason, would, would lie with more than just we, the people of East we, Haven. We, 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 look, look, look. <laughs> Clearly, from your books and your goggles, you don't see very well. What so goggles? Let me help you out here. What? What? I think you your something? eyes might need checked, my friend. I don't have a... You know, why don't we all? Uh, why don't we head for the festival? We'll leave you gentlemen here to 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 do your your outstanding job of guarding that you've been doing, and thank you for the information. Yeah, no, you're very welcome. Sorry about my friend. Yeah, move on, reader. <laughs> Spell reader. Hey. As I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> sick uh, burns coming at you from Icewind Dale. <laughs> quick, uh, quick question, DM. Uh, is is this on the map here? The yes. Ping it? That, that's the entrance. So that's, yeah, that's that's, that's essentially sort of the, the that guard post that you uh, that you're coming by. Okay. okay. For everyone at, at home, it's oh, I was trying to ping it so I could see it on Jade's stream map. There it is. It's kind of over this way. Yeah, yeah. To the left. Yeah. Hey, Zelvana. Yes. There we go. Did, didn't you say that no one had seen the speaker for a while? That's what I thought. Yeah, how, how is a man who no one's seen in a while putting on a festival? Maybe Prudence has more to do with this than we thought? Yeah, I think she might be worth talking to. Well, I mean, I have to go there anyway to sign up, so maybe we can see what's up. Yeah, something's going on. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Intrigue, you say? <laughs> All right, friends. So uh, the, the party ventures into the town. Um, as you can kind of see on the map, you've got White Lady Inn, East Haven Ferry, and the town hall, uh, as told to you by the guards, the town square is located around the town hall. So uh, you're using the DM map that's labeled. Are you? Our player map is blank. Yeah, the player map doesn't have the location. Ist on it. so saucy. Ist so. Hi, <laughs> Mary. Ist. All right then. Apologies. <laughs> All right, uh, friends. So uh, while, uh, while you're looking at the map, so what 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 does the the mood seem to be? I mean, you know, obviously the one one guard was. You know, happy one guard was kind of miffed a little bit. What are the town people that are around us like? Or do they seem, are they drawn toward the festival or are they kind of walking around pissy as well? So there is, because the, the this has all the hallmark, the, the hallmarks of like the, the county fair that is happening on a really bad, cold, wet day. Like, well, I performed there. <laughs> right, right. Like, <laughs> like people are showing up and things are happening, but it they're kind of begrudgingly showing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It's everything's everything's just ca like it's a sad. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the people that like, are working are like, "Why are you here? So yeah, just like, like, go." It's like it's like you're the reason why I'm still standing here. Go home. Yes. Right. But the people who are showing up are like, "Well, you know, I we're just trying to have not a good time. come." We're like, yeah. "Hey, we came to see you. Fight in the snowy mud in the slush." Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Entertain me, peasant. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I am pinging, oh, oh adventurers of mine, the town yes. hall. So Hi. that there is, uh, I wonder why, when I show you the map, it's not, the, hmm, I wonder if I can. Anyway, that's a, that, is, that is a question for another time. Ah, uh, for the night is long and full of errors. All right, <laughs> so uh, as you make your way to the town hall, lovely. Uh, you, you do indeed find that uh, there is a, a, a festival of sorts. Uh, and so as you get yourselves uh, to the main festival grounds, like there are there are people in the town sort of milling about and whatnot. Uh, and uh, on top of the uh, stone dais over yonder, there is uh, who what appears to be a, a gentleman dressed in a big like full like wool furred gray coat and he sees you come trudging up the walkway as there are some people milling about and he's like 
Welcome, welcome, friends. Hail and well met. Hail and well met indeed. Welcome to the East Haven Winter Festival of Imbolc. Oh. Well, thank well, you. We've, it's good to be I don't here. I know that is I've seen winter, anything like this. Just because it's always cold, because, you know, Imbolc isn't really. In the... Never mind. What? Never mind. Oh, oh. You're welcome. And then all of a sudden, a uh, very, uh, let's say, one with, no, it's like, really, sh like, uh, round spectacle steps forward. It's, uh, good afternoon. My name is Prudence Tarkwald. How may I help you? Uh, would any of you be signing up for the, uh, the events? Well, I, oh. I think maybe we'll take a turn around and just see what, you know, we're not going to enter something we're going to lose. Oh, of course, oh, of course, of course. Very, very, very good. Uh, should you wish to partake in any events, please see me or speak to any of the people running the tents around the Ooh. festival grounds. Are there <clears throat> prizes? There are indeed prizes. There is a prize for the archery contest, for the pie eating contest, and then for the uh, lore, the lore master competition, which will conclude the events this evening. What, pies what does the lore they? master competition entail? Well, lore master and competition uh, entails the telling of a tale. So uh, typically it's usually a short story or a song or a, a, a poem of some sort. And, and the good people of East Haven judge and by popular vote, the winner is declared. I want to get in on that lore telling festival. Excellent. Excellent. Shall I put you down? Uh, yes, please. Good, good, good. Uh, you are? Uh, Flynn. Flynn. And Flynn, will you be dancing, singing, poem? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call it telling a tale, yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely. I say tale. All right. Very good. Uh, anyone else? Sign me up as well. Excellent. And you are? Zalvana. Zalvana. Uh, will it be a tale, a song, a dance? A song. Oh. Lovely. Well, yes. that is delightful. Her songs are beautiful. Oh, oh thanks. Well, I look forward to that. Thank you very much. Uh, anyone else? You, well, uh, so you don't happen to have, and I'm going to kind of side look at, at Herrick, a, a cooking competition of any kind, do oh. you? Unfortunately, uh, with things the way they are, uh, we have uh, the eating competition would be the closest I could uh, I could uh, point you to. What pie? Uh, it looks like I? your friend there might be able to uh, give someone a run for their money. Hmm? Who? Who me? You calling me fat? I think he was talking to me. No, what? No, I was. <laughs> um. So well, no, anyway. no cooking competition then. How exactly does one look like they would be good at an? Pie eating competition. Well, he just seems the mouth, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's a mouth area yeah. thing. Yeah, so... Yes, there's a, a he's a a wide. Looks like stop he right there. Swallow a. <laughs> All yeah, right, yeah. good. Just, let's put yes. the shovel down. Is there an entry fee? Uh, um, yes, uh, for the archery contest and for the pie eating uh yeah, pie eating contest. Uh, yes, there is a, a fee of one silver. I'll uh, flip her a silver. Oh, I'm Put me down for the I'll throw a silver in to, to, to dance in that uh, archery contest. Do any of these contests overlap, or is it like a one event at a time thing? Oh, one event at a time thing. It, uh, it's um, we, we try to make sure that as many competitors as can, 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 <clears throat> can, 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 for the can, pie can. eating. All right. I'll eat some pies. <sighs> Sign me up for pie eating as well. Well, you need to think about it for the long term. One silver for as many pies as you can eat. That's my thought as well. I, I simply haven't eaten yet. We only need to buy a drink. <laughs> I like it. We don't I need like to it. eat anymore while we're here. As long as they're good pies. I'm say, what so if they're bad pies? Herrick, Fariel, uh, no, so Fariel and Flynn archery. are for the archery. And the professor yeah. and Herrick are for the pie eating contest. Lovely. Lovely. All right. <laughs> I'm going to provide moral support for everyone and comic relief. Oh, very good. Perfect. Very good. Uh, he's, a, he's an elf. You probably haven't got enough vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
Perfect. Anything else? Uh, when uh, can you tell us where we might find? Um, scrolling back to my notes, uh, Captain Imdra is. Uh... Oh yes, uh, she is actually right over there, and she points to uh, a rather fierce-looking lady uh, who is. Let me go ahead. She's a lady. <laughs> so this oh. is who you see standing oh, in the midway yeah yeah digging the eye patch no, of course that's how you know that she's a veteran <laughs> <laughs> it's like i need someone to look like they've been in a war eye patch eye patch, eye patch. i'm yeah. digging that sword and the fur cloak mm -hmm. hey i mm -hmm. like those yeah. boots yeah. man those no no boots East Haven. So we've all picked out what we're going to loot after this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait a damn minute here. What? Uh, you said you wanted combat, Ryan. I'm sorry. Goblins we negotiate with. Normal people in the village. <laughs> wait, yeah. Oh, if they're wearing an eye patch, no we right. know they're evil. Yeah. So I just need to stop putting like well dressed characters in front of you. I see how it is. Well, and she's doing this to hide a goatee, which also means evil. So. But that is not what evil means. <laughs> It's her dwarfish blood. She has a small little beard growing in. <laughs> All right. So, yes, but that is Great. I, uh, I, uh, I lean to Feriel and say, should we ask about uh, Deneth Whalen yet? Or should we wait? going to ask. Yeah, we're going to play stupid, though. Okay. You uh, go first. Uh, I, 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 can I hear them whispering about that? Go ahead and roll me a perception check. I've got a passive of 16. I was about to ask about them anyway. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So pop off your passives to me real quick then. Well, I, I have a 14 passive, but I can also roll you a perception. Okay. So with a 14, I'll need a roll. 16 for me. 16. You definitely hear it. Uh, I have a 20. <laughs> yep, Xander. I have yeah, a dirty, so you, dirty 20. You absolutely hear that. 15. Little, Great. Um, so we all roll when I say we weren't whispering. Oh, and I, uh, I, I will say, I, I, uh, you know, let's, uh, let, let's, let's come back to that. Oh no. Yep. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Lovely. All right. And then if we can move to a spot where we're out of earshot, but not yet within, maybe kind of to yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You actually can go ahead and put yourselves on the board. Uh well yes I guess we could couldn't we I mean hey let's let's get right. crazy y'all see if I actually remember how to do this oh great <laughs> here we go here we go all right see him one two three four where the heck oh, am I there I am there he is all right good good five <gasps> so where is everybody <laughs> <laughs> this is just like going to an actual festival I love it. <laughs> so like, where are we you walk in and everyone here. immediately goes everyone in. remember where we parked Paul all right <laughs> we said we were gonna meet at the blacksmith's tent okay. <laughs> which blacksmith's tent <laughs> I know dang it okay got it I remembered so after yeah. uh yay bundling up over uh, here after 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 consulting my 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 book of notes, it's not here that the speaker has been not seen. It, that's at Care Deneval. Oh. Mm. Oh, happy okay. DM smiles. This this speaker is right over there. Yeah. Got it. Thanks for that. <laughs> Good. Now we don't look foolish. <laughs> Indeed. I mean, the day's young. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. You are right foolish about that, sir. Yet. Uh, yeah, so do we want to talk to the captain or do we want to play some games? Oh, gosh. Well, I am hungry, so. But you're going to eat pies later. Yeah. So uh, the order. Is there, is there a, I'm sorry, is there a schedule? Yeah, so the order of the day in terms of the scheduled events, uh, there is the archery contest, which will be happening uh, in about a half hour. And then uh, about an hour after that is going to be the pie eating contest. And then the, 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 festivities will end with the candlelight uh lore master <laughs> candlelight at 2 p.m uh icewind dale where the sun never rises what right. about the, the dwarf wrestling and the the soothsayers so the the dwarf what the dwarf what the dwarf <laughs> wrestling I tried to put more w's into those words than were necessary um is sort of a as you will event and then so is the the soothsayer oh good god oh. i need coffee all right Let's go do some wrestling, <laughs> shall we? All of us will be good at that. We should just pull up next to them and just we'll all wrestle with Herrick. It's like, oh, you said dwarf wrestling. You didn't say specifically you say which, dwarf? which dwarf. Yeah, right? That's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, while we're waiting, we might as well go do some dwarf wrestling. 
That sounds awesome. We're Can right I... behind you. Yeah, I'm going to Alright, great. This. So, you move over to the ring, and in the middle of the ring is none other than Erg Hoover. Yes, so he is the dwarf wrestling champion of East Haven, and he stands in the center of the ring and goes, Which one of you will feel the awesome suck of Erg Hoover? Uh... Flynn will. I'm pointing. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> well, Flynn, get in there. I did it. He's a. I did it. Warm him he, up for he's not, me. He's not great at PR, but it, he he does what he does. All right, so I'll slap him on the back. Oh, again you go. All right, so dwarf wrestling. This is how the game will go. It'll start with three consecutive strength tests. You will have to try to win three in a row. Once you win the three, you have to grab the opponent, lift the opponent, throw the opponent out of the ring. Upon three successes, you are the one who wins. All right. Sounds sounds sensible-ish enough. Yeah. Three successes or three consecutive? Three successes. So the first person to three successes will be the one to grab, lift, and throw. Gotcha. Dig it? I am, I am built for speed. <laughs> it, 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 don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. Uh, Harry I'm shoved sure you in the ring. Dexterous? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah make, make you think we're chumps, and then we'll put we'll put yeah. Herrick in there. Harry, Harry oh. shoved you in the ring. Go so, okay. on. Oh, 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 okay. Well, um, haven't turned down a fight yet. Maybe that's this'll, my problem. This will be funny. Look how scrawny he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. It hurts me. All right, friends. So, uh, uh, all right. Let's see here. So, uh, Flynn. Yeah. You know, so, or, so you, you've stepped into the ring slash well, up into the ring. Well, well, he's making an entrance, so he's waiting on his theme music to walk. Oh, I love it. I love into it. Into the ring. What, so, what would, what would Flynn's theme music be? Uh, first, uh, the Flynn's theme music would be uh, "Elevate" uh, at the end of Spider Verse. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I ain't got time to waste. I ain't got time to waste. <laughs> they um, want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love it. I love it. Okay, so. Uh, Erg, Erg Hoover's like, finally, someone to challenge me. Give me your hand. All, all right. Give him, give him my hand. All right. Good luck, mate. Oh, all, same to you. He's got to eat right. it. I've seen more fat on a greasy <laughs> chip. All right. First strength <laughs> roll. Oh, good Lord. All right. Well, Ooh, what was that? Oof. So, totally uh, average. Erg comes well done. with a 16 to 11. Uh huh. Yep. So, Erg comes up, grips Flynn. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, Come on, Flynn. Put a bit of effort in. Let's, let's do it. Second strength roll. Ooh. Okay. 16. Okay. And an almost immediate reversal of Flynn trying to get a grip on uh, Erg as Erg goes to an 11. 11 to 16. So, we are now tied one to one. Da 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 da. All right. Come on, do it. Come on, Flynn, do it. For oh, he failed. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Dirty 20. Oh. Dirty 20. Yeah. With a dirty 20. So Flynn manages to not only get a grip, but he also gets like Erg up into the air above his head as if, and then like the eyes on Flynn's face go wide. He's just like, huh? Oh. I, I, look at, <laughs> I look at a dwarf and I was like, you're an embarrassment to our race. <laughs> oh. Flynn, keep okay. going. Flynn, keep going. Oh, okay, right. okay, here we go. One last one. Right, final roll. <laughs> oh. Nope. Oh, oh no. no! Oh my god! <laughs> With the final roll of a four to oh. beat Erg's roll of a two. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Takes oh my god. Erg Hoover and Flings him from the ring. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Amazing. the upset of the century is happening oh. somewhere else. But oh here in East gosh. Haven. Did you all see it? The oh, fighter the ball, ball, just ball, upset Erg Hoover. Oh. See, wow. Flynn, you would have never have done that if I didn't push you in there. Well done, lad. Well done. Oh, wow. Oh my thank gosh. you. I mean, you <laughs> amazing. You probably need to split the winnings with Herrick because he was the one who had faith in you. Oh, my uh, goodness. <laughs> wait, no, wait. I... He was the only one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't think of that, but yeah, that's a good idea. He had the primary faith. We had, we all had backup faith. <laughs> well, Y'all so had Earth faith? Hoover goes flying from the ring. And as he flies out of the ring, Flynn... Sorry. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't lie, Flynn. 
<laughs> I did that for a laugh, but you did, you did, you did very well. Oh my god, that was that was delightful. And so, yeah, sure enough, the uh, one of the uh, I say Prudence comes walking over, and she says, "Oh, job well done. Here is the purse for the victory, and you get ten silver pieces, Flynn." Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Does this mean that? Flynn has to stay and face the rest of the challengers uh, as the new champion. No, well, no. so uh, that is certainly an option. Uh, we, we may have to see how many other people are able to fling the former champion out of the ring as like Erg's face is buried in the snow. <laughs> I'm sorry. So <laughs> he gets back up, sort of <laughs> dusts himself off, comes over to Flynn. His face is all red and he's... <sighs> That was uh -huh. incredible. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, <laughs> match well matched. Well, um, well, well fought. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Anyone else willing to step into the ring with Erg Hoover? Oh, if it would just leave that there. Yeah, yeah, no, no that's all right. That's I mean, he's all softened up now here. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Like it's all going, I'll roll three ones. That's <laughs> <laughs> true, that's true. Or I'll that. roll three 18s and then Ryan will roll three 20s. And then, yeah, that's right. <laughs> As I say, the dice tell a story and I think they tell one right. there. Prudence Starkwald comes to the center and... <clears throat> Man, I was so tempted. The archery contest is about to begin! Uh, no. <laughs> but, uh, the archery contest is about to begin. All archers, please report to the archery tent, which is located over here, as over I'm there. on the map, to the sooth. Uh, it is won by the archery targets. Well, we haven't got any archers here. <laughs> Are we any good archers? <laughs> I'm, the, well, I'm the one that signed up for it. If, uh, yeah, if... Uh, if that face-off with Rune during the first game was any indication, you know, this this might go That's what Harry's on about. Yeah. <laughs> hey, some one of I think one of them hit a tree. Maybe. Uh, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. One of them did. Yeah, yeah, somebody did. All right. So, uh, as you move over to the archery contest, you see um, uh, this, this elf who is sitting there sort of bundled up. She's like, hello. My name's Fletch. Who are you? Flynn. Hello, Flynn. And you? Fairyel. Fairyel. A pleasure. Pleasure. Are you uh, competing for the archery contest? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, then. It should be fun. All right. So, um, here are the rules of the contest. You see yourselves three different ranges just down the way there. And you'll see the three different targets here. Close, medium... And then the, the next one down is the far range as well. All right. And so uh, you can go ahead and declare a target to get a plus one to your to your to your shot. To, but if you miss, you are rewarded no points. Now, each one of the circles on the targets is worth a certain amount of points, depending upon how well you roll. Uh, that's how many points you'll get. Person with the highest amount of points after three shots is declared the victor. Cool, cool. Uh, so this is any like uh, ranged archery weapon, right? I, all I got is a crossbow. I don't have like a bow. Oh, actually, bow. no, no, no. Yeah, any ranged weapon can do. Um, is it fire, is, is fireball, I, fireball I, count? I, fireball? I would prefer that you use something that won't destroy the targets after one shot. No, no fireball then. As, as, as she hears the fireball comment, <laughs> copy, copy that, copy that. But um, yeah. So we've had people throw axes and and daggers and whatnot. No, um, you, 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 I mean, the, the range is axes are... I can throw. I can throw an axe. <laughs> so, <clears throat> shall we I, I, begin? I, I don't. Oh, that was a serious question, but I take it. Well, she's an elf. She's not going to have an axe, is she? Or, well, no, why would I have an axe? Exactly. I have a dagger if you want. I mean, it's a versatile oh, tool. I can yeah. throw a dagger. Yeah. Yeah? You yeah. want to borrow my dagger? Yeah, why not? Cool. Excellent. All right. So, um, everyone who's participating in the archery contest. Uh, Harrick has the whole 5th edition player's handbook but equipment in his backpack, but hasn't got a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have two. I got a small <laughs> Yeah. No, I was. I I think even uh, even the professor's got a couple of daggers. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, like, how do you not have a dagger? All I right, friends. So uh, let's go ahead and for the sake of um, order, order, uh, let's do initiative. So go ahead and roll initiative. Click one token. Oh, initiative, initiative, I get All right, so anyone who wishes to join, make sure you click on your token. Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'll let you know, Ryan, I thought about rolling just to mess with you. but Oh, hey, I would have welcomed and say all, all are welcomed to fight. So I've got Fletch, Flynn, Herrick, and Feriel. I'm gonna Everyone else, anyone else joining the archery contest? Um, You know what? I will. Yeah. Um, I was like, as long as you got something to throw, you know? Uh, I have to find the thing. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, I descended too soon. What? Uh, so if this is just a throwing yeah. contest, maybe Flynn should grab Erg. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> tosses a dwarf. Are there extra points <laughs> except, except Erg, Erg. Yeah. Into, yeah. A, into a target? Yeah. Do I have to call it if it just takes out the target? With a, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, did I hear Zolvana? Are you joining in? Yeah. I just kind of forgot how to do it for a second. <laughs> no worries. You just go ahead. Did I do it? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh. Yeah, she got it. Apparently, I'm going first. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I forgot how to do this. How do I win? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. My bad. All right, lovely. So at the top of the order is Zolvana. Zolvana, uh, with a 20, you go ahead and declare what target you would like. You have the uh, close range, middle range, or far range. You can Ooh. declare your target. And basically the ranges of like where you would hit on your d20 die determine what target you hit and then if you declare i'm going to go ahead and say i'm going to roll for let's uh, just as an example let's say i'm going to declare that i'm going to roll for the middle range target all right mm -hmm. so as i can declare for the middle range target i roll my d20 roll the d20 and i rolled an eight now the eight is a total miss, so I get no points because I didn't hit any damn thing. But if I had declared the target and hit the target, I get to add plus one to that roll. So, and then of course, whatever points you hit with, uh, you get the points based on that AC level. Okay. Does that make, um, is that clear as mud for everybody? It's clear it's, as mud, yeah. It's pretty muddy. So each target has an AC. Yeah, so the close range target ranges from 12 to 14. The mid-range target is 16 to 18, and the far range is 20 to 24. Ooh. Yeah, y'all. Um, is this, and this, I'm assuming we're, they're rolling, like, we, like weapon attacks. You are rolling your weapon, yeah, your, your yeah, long yeah. range, or your ranged weapon roll. Okay. So whatever bonuses you get, plus the d20. And if you say, oh, I'm going to go ahead and roll at the mid-range target, you get to add plus one to that roll. Uh, to better your chances of hitting it. Does that make right, sense? So if I just if I just like don't say which one I'm going to go for. Just... Absolutely. You can just okay. say I'm roll I'm, I'm t shooting my shot. I'm shooting my shot. Shoot right. shot. And and do I have to hit like dagger and roll 20 to do mm -hmm. that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. there should be a yeah, the ranged option for that. Yeah. But yeah. well, we we've got a, a disadvantage. Why? Because it's out of our range. Uh, that is yeah that is so that is key to you to any of you throwing things if you're throwing things keep in mind that that range is going to be crucial i think the range for a dagger is only 20 feet it's only 20, 20. yeah so you yeah. might as yeah. well go for the back one yeah right so if you yeah all right well um i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go for the 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 short range one yeah you can say go for the close range why not since yeah. you're since you're rolling at disadvantage yeah. so you can either roll disadvantage by holding the control as you uh as you uh bring your cursor over the um skill on d20 on okay. D, d beyond or you can just go ahead and roll it twice and we'll pick the lower note the lowest one rolling okay. for disadvantage friends this is so crazy just quickly has anyone got their tab open and playing the stream because we're getting double feedback um it's on my phone but it's super quiet let me nicely done with a plug hell you score two phone. points okay. no, I'm all right getting it. go ahead and shoot your second shot all right 
Um, okay. Meow, meow. Grab my break. All right, so that's one. Roll again for disadvantage. Oh, I, I hit the control button. It's okay. Yeah, you it's okay? Dang it. Dang it. It is. It's tis finicky. Oh, Actually, nice. so that one with the 16, you get eight points. You are up to 10 points. Okay. Hey, nice. nice. Nicely done. All right. Nicely done. All right. And yeah, this and this is just shucking daggers at disadvantage, y'all. Right. So yeah, cool. third and final shot. Third and final shot. At disadvantage. Right. I, I am calling the, the short range one. All right. Calling short range. Awesome. Oh, oh, but you hit the mid range again. So, uh, because you called it and did not hit, um, you are awarded no points. So, wait, uh, you are going to go oh, ahead. Oh, and... I didn't understand. Okay. Oh, okay. So if it's if it's sixteen to eighteen, then it's the mid range one. Oh, okay. Correct. I get it now. Correct. Okay. Understand. No worries. No worries. All right. So, Zolvana sits at ten points for the archery contest. Next up, we have. Flynn. All right, I'm gonna stand up there, get a little good sight going on this crossbow, and let him fly. All right, that's a 24. Boom! <laughs> First shot out the gate is a bullseye from Flynn, scoring nice. 18 points. Y'all, Flynn is gonna be like the Hay King, like of this damn festival. All right. <laughs> yeah, except we're gonna be like toting around all of his winnings, like the giant teddy <laughs> bear. And yeah. I want Xander huge, with the giant, like, huge, like huge thing of popcorn. Uh, like at a this point, Yeti at or this something. point, yeah. Harrick hands Zolana uh, back the uh, the dagger. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think I'm done. Uh, I'm, I'm, good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh my all god! Right. All right, so uh, Flynn, your second shot. Here you go. The second shot. <laughs> Not as impressive. That's a six. <laughs> oh wow! Give me there back that is. damn hat. Give me back that damn dagger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and third shot is like, uh, uh, see, I'm just gonna just don't just see, don't. Make, you made the classic two. blunder of like scoring huge on the first one and not walking the hell away. <laughs> yep, yeah, you know what? That's true. But we can make it up with this because Let's this one's a uh, eleven. And eleven, <laughs> which, which is which falls short somehow of the first target so it's like beep, boom, <laughs> and just sort of buries itself in the snow in front of it well that's so, not my luck for today yeah so flynn sits sitting pretty at 18 points <laughs> wait am i in the lead with the points you're still you are, in the you lead, are in the yeah. lead currently with the points <laughs> it was hilarious oh my anticlimactic God. but oh, i've, grab, good I've grabbed back that dagger now all right then so go to herrick mm. This is going to be a funny one. Oh, that would have been all right. Oh, oh babe. Okay, so with a nine, that is a miss. So the dagger kind of goes wide. An 11 is also a miss. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, all right. Natural, one more, one more. Double natural 20s. Oh. 16. 16 is eight points, and that puts you on the board. All right. Yay. <laughs> All right, so Flynn is still in the lead with 18 points, Silvana in second place, and Herrick with eight. This brings us up to our dr our rogue. rogue. I kind of look like a druid. That's what you were gonna say, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right, so uh first shot from Ferriel. Let's see. Oh, y'all in, tr in trouble. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. That's my bolt. So that is an 18 right there. All she, right. She split Flynn's arrow in twain. <laughs> right. Crit one incoming. That's, here that's, we go. That's, that's really good. Yeah, here we go. 18. Nope. Points. Nice. That is 12 points. Right. Let, uh, do it. Do it to it. You are currently sitting pretty at 30 points. And. Two, all right, thirty-two points, y'all. Nice. Is the is the one to beat? Wow, nicely done. All right then. So up next is Fletch. So Fletch looks over at Ferio. Nice shot. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Squares up and fires her first shot, second shot, third shot. All right, and those come in. She scores a 15, which gets her 
Oh, she misses both uh, close and mid-range targets. A 12, which gets her two points, and a 22, which gets her 16 points, bringing her total to 18 points. So she is currently tied for second with Flynn. All right, high five. <laughs> Uh, try, to, try to wrestle her so, for the tiebreaker. <laughs> yeah, right. That'll be a fight Not for the finish. <laughs> and with that, the archery contest. Hmm. So currently we have the winner is Fariel. But for second place, there will be a shoot off between Fletch and Flynn. Oh, no. Hmm. All right. So Flynn, you may fire when ready. This will be whoever scores like the first points. So, uh, so you go ahead and take what is this basically sudden death. So, gotcha. She shoot, she shoots. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take a deep breath, let a bolt fly. Not throw away my shot. Oh, it's 11. No. An 11 is a miss on the close yep. range target. Mm -hmm. Fletch takes her shot and scores a 17, which is oh. 10 points. Shoom. All right, so second place goes to Fletch. Flynn, you're in third place. Well done. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. That's that's <laughs> well done, Fairy Hell. And, she, and so, so, uh, uh, so Prudence Tark Tarkwald walks over. <clears throat> the archery contest has been decided. The winner of the archery contest is <clears throat> Fairy Hell. Fairy Hell. <laughs> and then, like, there's like a smattering of applause. Hmm. Ariel looks as comfortable, as uncomfortable as one can look in a hood like, and a mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, you know, like. I, I like it. I like it. It's like, mm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I don't Good like job, it. Good job, Drogue. All right. So, uh, <laughs> actually, friends, so. Uh, the see, <clears throat> Prudence moves back to the center of the festival. <clears throat> the eating contest will begin in one half hour. <clears throat> why, why not just say in a half an hour? Yeah, why don't you just say 30 minutes? It's just... Yeah. Two As half hours? To, two half, yeah, that, exactly. Silvana, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, trifling, just absolutely trifling. <laughs> Fletch well, comes over to Fairy Out. Beautiful shot. I say, I'll, I'll, you should write down your name. Um, be sure to collect your prize at the end of the festival. Th they gave the prize for the wrestling right away. Oh, hold up my bag of silver. So uh, <laughs> the wrestling isn't actually a, 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 a sort of a sanctioned event. So if you manage to uh, throw Erg out of the uh, of the ring, you get money. Though, granted, as the day goes on, the prize pouches get smaller and smaller. Truth be told, sense. I think he's very good, but. Yeah. <laughs> does Not he get th does he no. get thrown out often? No comment. Uh, <laughs> the ring is not the only thing he's usually thrown out of. He usually gets tossed out of the uh, the wet trout uh, uh, mm -hmm. up east. Oh, nice! That's the rowdy an, place. I hear. Appealing name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's a it, it's a, quite the uh, the hive of uh, of uh, ne'er do wells and derelicts, but uh, it's also some of the Best damn drink in the in the town. Oh. So, well, well shot. And she moves off. <laughs> well, since we have one half hour, um, <laughs> do you guys need to prepare yourselves for eating? Or should <laughs> yeah, we, should we maybe talk, talk to the captain? I mean, that's a pretty good audition we just threw down. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my my, my comfy pants, <laughs> my, <laughs> my stretchy armor. Can, uh, <laughs> talk to the captain or. The uh, soothsayer sounds interesting. Yeah, let's, let's go the find captain. the sooth. Oh, let's find the captain. <laughs> <laughs> well, for sooth, the captain. <laughs> as we, need, we're, we need to figure out where we're staying as well. Yeah, and as we're kind of just traveling and milling about, I am keeping a close eye on things just because I know there are lots of sticky fingers in East Haven. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. kind of keeping an extra eye on on my my group of my people, just to make sure nobody's trying anything. Go ahead and uh, roll a roll a perception check, Mariel. Okay, did we figure this out? I still roll, have to roll. Oh yes, I say. 
So I, I thought we corrected that in the the back. I think it still gives me like the disadvantage for dark vision though. So yeah. So traditionally, a drow has disadvantage for perception checks because they yeah. are uh, easiest at way disadvantage of doing it. in pressing sunlight. Shift. I would shift but, down and do it. Uh, because Icewind Dale is never in sunlight. And in fact, uh, at best, you get sort of a twilight dim light. Um, we've had to fudge some of Fariel's rolls. Speaking of which. Well, and by drow, you mean drogue. Drogue. Yeah, drogue. yeah. Drogon. Drogon. <laughs> right. A I dragon? Know. What? Yeah. She's a part dragon. <laughs> so did that, that, yeah, did, that, that did it with okay, advantage so then. So that's really weird. Yeah. Well, I think that we fixed it last week in, oh, the, did in we? the the back end roller. Uh, we fixed that it wasn't adding my modifier, but if I just roll straight, I think it still rolls with disadvantage. I'll try it just to see. Yeah. See if uh, I roll straight, well, it automatically. Yeah, rolls that's with yeah, that's fine. Just use the one on the left because it's always so, the left one's the first one. So, yeah. so your your disadvantage, was, or if it was disadvantage, would be seventeen. So just take the twenty three. So as you make that perception check, Fariel, you notice that uh, this this commoner over here in the corner with a rather hooded gaze is kind of eyeing up Zalvana. And she like kind of starts to shift forward off the tent pole a little bit. And then she catches you out of the corner of her eye. And she kind of leans back, looks away. <sighs> so you were definitely right to, to keep your eyes on your party. And with it being legal here, it's not like we can just bloody up some faces. Is oh, it? no, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're more than welcome to pick a fight with like someone who didn't do anything. But um... Oh, no, no, no. I mean, if someone is caught in the act of pickpocketing, since it's legal, that, right. we can't like, like fight worst, them over it. Worst case scenario, you can try to get your stuff back, uh, i.e. like steal it back from them or like try to hunt them down. But like Pickpocketing is legal. Assault. <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we like slap their hands away? Like that. Oh, abs no, absolutely. Like, <laughs> like oh, if they, yeah. if they they fail. Bad boy. Take my purse. I'll yeah. slap their hands away with my mole. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Can we slap their hands away? Can I do it with an axe? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I, uh, Herrick, I, I was thinking, should we enter Athelflaed in the pie eating contest? <laughs> That'd be like a sure fire like there. Enter the goat in the pioneer contest. All right, so friends, are we uh, are we moving towards the good captain, captain or the sooth sayer? Yeah, let's head toward the captain. All right, and in fact, the captain is actually starting to move towards you. Hail and well met. Hello. Hey. She kind of walks be, walks past this first captain. group of you and moves over to Fairy Allen and says, "Well, shot my uh." I'm going to keep speaking issues. Uh, you <laughs> my, uh, my soldiers tell me that uh, you won the archery contest. Indeed. Well done. If you're, uh, if you're looking for work among uh, guards, I would happily hire a sure shot such as yourself. I thought Flynn to be, or Fletch to be the, uh, the best shot in the town, but clearly Not really you. in the market for work that would settled me down you know what i mean but ah. if there are any other sorts of tasks that you have i see are uh are you affiliated with anybody at the moment yeah. we're yes. just standing there with her i want to i want to be like off of uh <laughs> her off of ferial shoulder just like um Almost like in a, like a in a uh, V formation, you know, just just. I got a, you. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of yeah. uh, sliding out over here, like <clears throat> me. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, no, I like that. So she's like, so are you feeling with anyone? And she's like, mm, looks around. She, oh, God, she sees Herrick. Oh, didn't see you there. Sorry. Um. Well. Oh, are you a? Uh, is this your party? Yes. Excellent. I'm a. Uh, I've got to keep my head on a swivel for the, the festival as it is, but um, seek me out uh, when the festival concludes this uh, this evening. I, I may have a job for you. Sounds good. Where will you be? Uh, you will find me stationed at uh, City, uh, the town hall, just there, uh, top the steps. Does it pay well? The job. Well, that's the only well, thing I can think of. It, um... It'll definitely pique your interest. You, you seem a 
an adventuring lot. So you're not wrong. She's very, <laughs> she's very perceptive. We get I really am. Good day. And she walks on. I don't like her. She's definitely evil. She's definitely a big bad evil guy. <laughs> we should, we should yeah, kill her. Take a boot. <laughs> trying to say hello and she just walks right past. She Man. probably didn't see you because she had a patch on, <laughs> to be fair. Sandra, I can teach you. You were on her blind side. That, that was a bad eye. Yeah. You might have done that She's too. She's only so. seeing half the situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well, no. Did, did, did Xander, the big wizard boy i'll feel all bad because a lady ignored him that must no, be tough no no it's fine it's fine <laughs> it's i'll no just be there. sullen in the corner like an elf well, i'd be perhaps, happy to teach you to shoot a bow or perhaps you can distinguish yourself in the pie eating contest sander <laughs> sure to gain yeah. her attention <laughs> girls love it when you eat no i'm gonna stop there come on <laughs> over here baby <laughs> Oh. Got this fish stew all over my face. Oh, oh. God, no, no, oh, Lord. You that did escalated this. So quickly. You brought this here. Oh my God, <laughs> that escalated so quickly. I made Jade, a you're gonna fish tell us. pie eating contest, everybody. That's what I did. All right, Jade, you're gonna tell us when we go live, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we've suddenly turned into an only an only fans uh, thread here. All right, so <laughs> friends. You've got uh, the, apparently one half of an hour ish less. <laughs> not now. two. Yeah, not one, not two, not three, but one. Um, so uh, it is in fact two quarter hours, though. I mean, right, right. There it is. <laughs> she she, she, she could have gotten real. There we go. Harriet just looks a bit confused. It's all right. It's just math. All right, friends. So, adventurers, do we? Venture forth to the soothsayer, or uh, yes. you got about fifteen minutes till the pie eating contest begins. Yeah, where is this soothsayer at? Oh. She got like a sign of that, on her tent, something. Is that so. Amber Amber Cullfires? Why, it is indeed Amber Cullfires. So you'll you'll notice her tent is up here. She has this sort of like marble table set out, which got it. Close, which upon closer inspection isn't actually marble, sort of a, like a nice sort of like red lacquer stain on it, but it looks all kinds of entrancing. <laughs> Everyone just flew over there. <laughs> it's like, oh, I wasn't expecting so much of a rush. Um, Hello. Well, we have less than one half hour. Yes, so. I believe you have uh, one half of one half. I think we're going to leave the place in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> My brain hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Would any of you like to yes, participate in a game of liars and truth seekers? That sounds intriguing. Ah. How do we play? So, the game is simple. The liar makes two true statements and one false statement. I try to decide which is the truth and which is the lie. Now, you may roll an insight check against the liar's deception check to determine which of their statements is false. And I may either, you can either ask me to be a liar or a truth seeker. Hmm. And those who win will receive a gift. Oh. Everything's oh. always a gift here. Like just I just want to see a prize list. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and maybe a clearer instruction sheet. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the professor is the only one that understands this, so Well, I mean, yeah. to be honest, this game was kind of built with him in mind. <laughs> so the professor <laughs> is not great at determining <laughs> lies from the truth oddly enough <laughs> i see i see um so it would behoove the professor if you to, to if be you the wish, liar if you say if you wish professor i would let you make an investigation check versus a insight check but the professor's much better at that <laughs> i figured he might be i, I would don't be know. a truth seeker so shall i be the liar or the truth seeker 
So if you're the if so out of game DM. So if she yeah. is the liar, I'm doing the truth seeking. Is that the point? Yeah. So if okay. she's the liar, you're doing the truth seeking. Basically, you roll against her DC for her deception with your investigation or your insight. Okay. Does that make sense? And so then yep. if you beat it, yay. And then the idea is that you do that three times, you beat your best two out of three, then you get a gift. Got oh, it. I gotcha. I'm going to use my investigation skills to deduce the flaw in her logic. Why is it investigation? Surely it should be insight. It, it should, should be. It, it should be. Investigation searching stuff. It, that's it, true. That's true. But uh, because I am a kind and friendly neighborhood dungeon master, I am allowing the professor to use his superior investigation Investigation skills to see if he can't like Sherlock Holmes his way out of F this. DM. <laughs> I am an F and DM. All right. All right. Um. So yeah, if I'm allowed to use investigation, then I will have her be the liar. Excellent. Excellent. That is a so. You go ahead. So, uh, so for the purposes of role play, she's going to go ahead and say three statements. She says, "It is always cold here. There is uh, danger in East Haven, and beware the ice." Hmm. So. Go ahead and we'll start with the first roll. So she will go ahead and try to deceive you. She's going to roll. And then I need you to go ahead and roll your investigation. Oh, oh man. Oh, geez. Nice, nice. That's a, that's a 23 that he rolled. That's a 23. <laughs> so, all right, good. So that's oh. that's your first roll. Nicely it's done. A 23 against a crit fail from the crit DM. Crit fail. Oh, yes. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. She was just like, she. oh, oh, my. <laughs> so the way he does that sort of leery peer at her, she's a little taken aback at that one. So second roll. Boom. 17 to 13. All right, good, good. So she's she has gotten one point up on you, so you're now tied one to one. And third and final roll decides the cheese. 13 to... Oh, oh. 13. oh. oh no. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that was the double off there. Oh! Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, uh. And with a roll of 13 for that final investigation and a roll of a two from Amber <laughs> Colfire, you are able to deduce that one of her statements was a lie and two of her statements were a truth. So well done. She says, most excellently done. You are gifted at this. Which one was the Which lie? Which one was the lie? Professor. Uh. Well, let me tell you right now. <laughs> oh, it's like <laughs> you're going to tell me. Which... It was oh, all right then. Um, why the final thing I said was the lie. What was the final thing? Oh, uh, beware the ice. Beware, beware the, the ice. ice. Beware the ice. So that's a lie. Don't beware the ice. The ice is fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's no, quite really nice. buying that. Mm. Okay. Oh, so there's okay. a bit of killer now. She's anyone else? Killer. I'll have a go. Lovely. All right, Herrick. Are you rolling a uh, insight or uh... maybe a truth seeker? Yeah. Truth seeker. Oh, truth seeker. All right, all right. He's making me come up with lies all the time now. All right then. Um. I don't like the way you're looking at me. You... You were born... under a midwinter star. I come from the mountains. And there are creatures made of ice and snow that will have you for dinner. So. You don't come for the mountains. <laughs> Roll your first d20. Uh, 20. 
Oh, geez, oh, pizza. I rolled another <laughs> two. <laughs> Y'all, this, this, uh, she, apparently she sucks at lying. That's just Amber's a, off her game tonight. Yeah, Amber is off her game. The coal fire is burning low. All right, so second inside check is a 16 to a 14. Wow, Herrick. Okay, so you're two for two, my man. And the third Well, that, that means he wins, right? Absolutely. I got a 13 to... A 13 to a 20. Okay, fine. So I got to be a 22. No, no, 13, man. The and a three. All right. Okay. So oh, we rolled off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, four, three on that one. Just oof. which will that'll be a, a an extra gift for him. Yeah. Yeah. Most <laughs> most assuredly. Um. So she says, "Wow, that was most impressive." And so, uh, would anyone else like a try? Which one? Was uh, which Which one was, of those statements was the lie? Which was the lie, Herrick? <laughs> <clears throat> Herrick, which was the lie? She was born in the mountains. I was not born in the mountains. Well done. Mm. That was too loud. Would anyone else like to try? I, I am, I am intelligent, but not wise. So, very well, very well. My gift. I think it's almost time for the pie eating contest, anyway. Oh well, then surely we you. You say, we probably still have one quarter of an hour. <laughs> I believe you are down to uh, one twenty-fifth of a no. All right, a so, fifth? Who's got a fifth? Who's got a fifth? <laughs> <laughs> Pass cool. right. it around. <laughs> I'm leaving this place. So uh, she uh, she goes to both the professor and to Herrick, and she places her hand uh, on top of your hand, Herrick, and says, "I gift the gift of insight to you." May you be truth or lie seeker. And so on your next insight or deception check, you have a plus three to that check. Oh, okay. Wow. Nice. All right. And then, Professor, she will go to you as well and say, I gift to you the gift of insight, be you liar or truth seeker. And then she will hand that off to you, and you also get a plus three to your next insight or deception check. Okay. So keep track of that, y'all. Well, All right. Very nicely done, gentlemen. What a lousy prize. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it seems a little funny, doesn't it? That if you, you're proven that you're good at insight, so she's like, here, be better. Be better. Yeah. <laughs> but you're already be, good. Thanks. You already won. Insightful. Exactly. Yeah, right. Um, or the fact that you, know, you could also get a, a deception. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, and of course, uh, Prudence Darkwald comes back to the center of the festival grounds. <clears throat> the pie eating contest will begin. Current <clears throat> champions are Eli Quid and Lumi Yeoman. All contestants, please sit yourself round the tables. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I love the idea of the professor being like, yeah, pie eating contest. This is me. Shall I hold your coat, professor? Uh, it won't be necessary. Well, I don't I'm know concerned. what that means. <laughs> I'm terrified. Watch me flex on this pie. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? All right, friends. So, pie eating contest. Uh, so I've got... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Professor and Herrick are, uh, Herrick, are you moving around the table? Yes. All right, all right, lovely, lovely, lovely. So, uh, the rules are thus. You have to go ahead and the first person to accumulate 30 points, um, of constitution rolls, uh, gets to, you get to consume one pie. It takes 30 points to eat one pie. Upon finishing that pie, you then have to make a constitution check to see if you hold the damn thing down. Oh, God. If you fail that check, you erp and you're out. Mm -hmm. All right? If the, anyone the... needs me, I'm going to go wrestle the dwarf again because I can't <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, Flynn's like, I can't watch. I can't watch. I can't, I can't, watch I can't see it. I can't, I can't even hear it. <laughs> I watched a man take an axe through the head, and I still know absolutely not. <laughs> you say, is it a con uh... save or a constitution roll? Uh, so it's a constitution roll oh, to that. eat the pies, and oh, then it's okay. a con save to see if you hold it down. Okay. Can we assist with keeping it down? Do they get advantage? 
Are you huh. gonna hold my mouth for me? <laughs> yeah, but how you, yeah. <laughs> like how do you help what someone that not look vomit? Like, just, just rub my back, Santa. Rub my back. <laughs> <laughs> hold your hair. Just dip it in the water. Dip it in the water. You gotta hydrate. You gotta hydrate. Not in the beard. Not in the beard. Oh. Can they word? Would that help? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, everybody. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, roll initiative for my for my pie eaters. First Which was token. said never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hate myself for that. So <laughs> nine. All right, lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, nice. So we got the nine and the twelve. Wait, y'all are Johnny on the spot tonight. I love that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add. Mm, thank you. There we go, and boop, and then we'll do right here, right here. Love it. Wow. Okay then. All right. So, lovely. Okay. So it looks like Eli is going to go first, and then hold on, friends. Trying to make sure I get the other contestants in here. Is there, a, is there a commoner in the con contest as well? Yeesh. So that commoner is Eli. And then ah. go ahead. And this should be Lumi. All right. Is it? Did it just add the same person twice? It sure yes. did. It sure did, didn't it? Yep. Well, that is rude, but all right. So, uh, I'm, well, then I'm just going to go ahead and use the same stat and I'll say that, um, hmm. all right. So we'll have both of those go 20 and 19. So they're going first before everybody. And I'll just keep track of who rolls what. All right. So first up is going to be Eli. So Eli and then Lumi. And then after that is going to be, looks like Herrick and then Bringing up the bottom is going to be the professor, though hopefully he manages to keep it down. All right, so at the very start, the first constitution roll is going to be Eli with a 17 out the gate. Well done. Then Lumi is going to start to eat her pie. She rolls a 12. Oh, she's falling behind already. All right, Herrick. Oh, I did click it. No worries, no worries. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> <With a four. laughs> so Eric crit failed on that one, so he he's wow, like nibbling at it a little bit. These pies like, taste like goblin food. God, that's good. All right, so um and <laughs> the professor. The professor will grab his pie and stand up and say thank you very much for lunch and head off <laughs> to, eat, to eat his pie at his leisure <laughs> oh my god are you serious yes can he, yes can he absolutely do he's not allowed all right i love it oh all right now god. back to the top of the order eli eats his pie yeah. and he scores a 12 oh all right then so he's sitting pretty at 29 he's almost ready to, to take his first constitution save lumi finishes up with a Oh, a 20! Oh, she literally snarfs the whole thing. So she's now at 32. She gets to make her first con save. Oh, I'm coming Lord. up with another natural one, I think. All right, all right. So, con save. Ah, 17. She holds it down. Okay, well done, Lumi. So she is up to one pie. Herrick? 12. 12. All right, then. Well done. Uh, Professor, are you still going to attempt to roll here, or are you just out? No, I'm just, I'm just snacking. Snibbling. All right, yeah. I like it. I like it. I've got a, a, a oh, fork and a napkin like, off in oh the corner. Dear. It appears I'm in last. Oh. All right, so what a shame. <laughs> yeah, lovely. All right, so Eli. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> thinking that he might be able to win with this tactic. Eli is up to. <laughs> Eli rolls 14 and is now going to have to make a Constitution saving saving throw. Mm. He rolls a six. <laughs> he just erps all over and he's just he's eli is gone he is out oh poor eli oh it's got For carrots in it 
<laughs> All right, so Lumi carrots in it. starts on well, her second. Former, former champion. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. mine, mine, mine doesn't have carrots at all. <laughs> like, I don't think those are carrots. All right, and uh, so Lumi starts in our second pie with a four. Herrick. I, Eight. All right, all right. Slow and steady, Herrick. Well done. <laughs> wins race. So he's, <laughs> he's looking for the carrots. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and Lumi is going. She's like she's eyeballing Herrick, like throwing him mean glances. The short little druid's like, hmm, try and beat me, will you? Uh, and so she rolls that thirteen. So oh. she is now up to seventeen on that second pie. Herrick, roll your roll your roll your eats. Oh my god, seven. <laughs> Take okay, that, that's an R with yeah. the seven Jesus. gets you, you, you have your first pie done, roll your con save to see if you hold it down. <laughs> do I have to? <laughs> oh, there we go, 16. And you do, you hold it down, well done. So you and Lumi are tied for, for pie. <laughs> God, I love this so much. All right, so uh, Lumi continues to eat her pie. She rolls a 10, 10, 17, that's 27. Okay, so that's her second pie. So now she has to make a con save. Come on, then. <clears throat> Hold it in. Hold it in. Hold it. Okay, with the 12. Ugh. So, still holding. Still holding. All right, so. Yep, but Lumi, you're down. behind. The professor's on his third pie already. <laughs> it's quite oh. flaky, quite delicious. Mm. Don't say Does that get any distraction points? Could use some butter. All right. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Herrick. 15. 15. Nice. That is a solid one. So next pie is at 15. Halfway there. Lumi gets a 10. All right, Herrick. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> You're up to 19. Uh, Lumi goes ahead and gets a... That was, for get the ones knows. out now where they don't matter. Oh, yeah, right, a, right? A crit fail for a Thank four. Thank God we're not picking fights just yet, y'all. All right, yeah. so uh, Lumi's at 22 with her third pie. Herrick is up to 19 on his second. Oh, he rolls an off, 11, 20. which gets you to 30. No, oh. great. All right, so that's your second pie. Roll that con save. Again. save. Do it. All right, tied. All right, Lumi. Lumi rolls a three. Man, she struggle busted on this one. She's up to twenty five on that third pie. All right, and uh, Eric, twenty one. Wow, do get a damn. Hey, you, did that's you even I wrote something one. over ten? All right, so there's a there's twenty one. So man, you you just you literally eat like. Two thirds of that whole pie. It's just <laughs> like he's just oh, like, ham fisting it into his mouth. And then Lumi rolls a three. She's up to like 28 on this. Man, this last one's a real struggle bus for her. 20. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Inhaled. Nicely done. Roll that con save. <laughs> oh no, this is going to be bad. 12. 12. All right. You're still, still holding it in. You're up to, th you're up to three pies now. Herrick's right, just warming up. <laughs> Rolls, get it. A, th a, th a four, excellent. Okay, so this puts her over the top. She is going to roll that con save. Oh, with a twenty, she holds it in. All right. We Lovely. watched a man get frozen and shattered like three days ago, and this is the most tense I've felt. Ten. <laughs> right, right. All right, Herrick's ten onto that on that next pie. Lumi is nineteen onto her fourth pie. Oh. Dear God, dear God. All right. So, uh, go ahead, Herrick. Nine. Nineteen for Herrick. And Lumi is up to ten. Oh, okay. She's got to roll. She's got to roll. Now, because this is her third pie, she's her constitution save is uh, it's the, the DC gets kicked up a little bit. So, let's see if she makes it. Well, the 17, she does. Okay. There it is. So she's Where is it going? Four pie. Yeah, right. You're watching this like tiny. I look under a chair. Well, like, you like, eating and pooping at the same time. <laughs> and she's putting Aww. it in a boot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lovely. Is this, so is this a halfling? What is this? 15. Yeah, yeah. She's she's a gnome actually. It's okay. A, uh, oh, love it. All right, so Herrick, you're up to. Was it twelve? Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, so yeah, roll, roll for that pie. 
Yes, 15. 15. You hold it. <laughs> God, this is going to be awful. <laughs> All, right. All right. Oh. All right. So uh, Lumi is up to five. 19 and five. Okay. Yeah. So she's up to 24. 13. Eric's up to 13. Oof. Lumi is. Oh, okay. Fifth pie. Ooh. All right. She's got to. She's got to beat a. She's got to beat a DC 15 to hold this thing in. How many is this? A fourth. <laughs> with a six like all of those pies come right back up just oh. it's like a say carrots it's awful oh, oh and sweet corn where did that come from all right yeah, all right so <laughs> eric you gotta finish this pie <clears throat> all right so with that with that there he is that puts you okay that puts you up so you finish that pie see if you hold it down yeah, 18. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> with an 18, Herrick a monster. Just, just like with all the power and might of his faith and the elements and the gods above, swallow down the last chunk of pie. Just I know he's already won yeah. it. He, car he carries on eating them to see how many he can set. <laughs> so I'm going to keep rolling con saves until I throw it up. Oh my god. Oh my 18, god. 18. So that's god. five pies. Oh my god. Here we go. Six pot. Oh, 16. What's that the DC? Still that 15 DC. Oh, that was And nice. there it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like 12 pies later. Yeah. 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 So he gets like another. He's like, Shane's not that bad. Gets like, puts like one more bite of, like, couple, like two more bites of pie in his mouth. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> Do we huh? feel any different about him after watching that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Would that be classed as poison? So I get advantage. I, I definitely think uh, whoever, oh whoever Erps is 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 prone oh. at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> that, that was lovely. Yeah, Prudence comes over and disgusting. All right, <laughs> so. Uh, uh, if you say know? I win a pie, I'm going to punch you in the jaw. <laughs> that was a joke. I said to all this joke is fine. But I swear to God, you give me a pie as a reward. Herrick is the winner of the pie eating contest. He prefers to go by Herrick the destroyer of pies. Ah, Herrick the pie destroyer. No, no. no Herrick the destroyer, the destroyer of, pies. of pies. Oh, I'm so sorry. Herrick, the destroyer of pie. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> People are the so. The lore master competition will begin in one half hour. In That's the same, the same as two it. quarter hours. <laughs> yes. One half of one hour. Two quarters of the hour. And she moves up to stand behind, uh, uh, stand next to Dennis. Waylon. Waylon Jennings. All right. So, uh, friends, you have this half hour. Mm -hmm. To get a prize. Before the handing out of the prizes oh. and the uh, the lore master competition. What would you like to do? Anything uh, Anything else? Pick your fancy on the festival fields. Who else is up there standing next to Speaker Waylon? Oh, is that, that just... is Prudence Tarkwald, which is who just moved next to him. And then uh, just next to her is Imdra. Who is the captain? And then okay. you've got a couple of you got the soldiers of the East that Haven sort of flanking about the festival and whatnot. Uh, Theriel, roll a perception check. Twenty-three. Man, this is why I don't try to. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Yet again, you see like one of these commoners comes walking over, like tries to like walk up on Xander, and they, and you. I think I would have seen that as well. She heads over to the uh, the liars and truth seekers booth. So this is why we stay in groups. This exactly. Well, well, I was in a group when I moved over there, but then Fairy all moved, and I didn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, DM, what is this structure 
over here. Oh, that is uh, well, was oh, a well. well. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> Not like <laughs> rescuing a baby from the well or something. Nice. I'm well. I mean, yeah, that is. I said that'll be the final contest. <laughs> get the baby out of the ice. Where'd you get the baby? <laughs> <laughs> Probably better that we don't ask about that. Uh, you know what? It's a baby ice claw worker. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, you guys. They took my baby. <laughs> <laughs> my dad owns a car dealership. Man. All right, <laughs> All right friends. My group. How's your pie, Professor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Good. It's a, mm. little, it's a bit dry, bit underbaked, but overall good. I love it. I love it it's, so much. Eric, did you did you uh, well, find well like played. a stomach of holding spell or something like that? Or yeah, seriously. How did you hold oh. that many pies down? Well, you know, I've got big boots, <laughs> and he <Okay>. cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> So well, I, I guess we'll pass time standing together. Yeah, them. no, it's good. Since yeah. Fariel is saving us from all the commoners. Um, yeah, right, right. Yeah. So as all of you huddled together, you hear Prudence. <clears throat> the giving of prizes will commence now. And <clears throat> Speaker Whalen comes forth. <clears throat> I wish to thank all of you so much for joining us on our winter festival of Imbolc to the goddess Brigid. We certainly hope to uh, change what each and every one of us has been suffering through in these dark times of our of the rhyme and I am confident that with enough faith and and power of belief that well we, we, we could change anything. So, but, of course, you don't want to hear me rant on about that. So let us get to the important part, uh, the prizes. All right. <clears throat> um, uh, Prudence, Prudence, do we have the... E yes, sir, the prizes. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, the prizes <clears throat> for the archery contest will be a goggles of night to be gifted to Fariel. <clears throat> womp womp. <laughs> well, yeah, you yeah. actually do have two humans in the party, so. <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, or I can get 100 gold for it. I mean, what? <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> I ain't been traveling with you that long. <laughs> Con congratulations, Fariel. <clears throat> Oh, yes. <clears throat> the pie eating contest champion shall be gifted a chef's knife. <clears throat> oh. oh, that's good. Useful. Shows this. <clears throat> there we are. Well, it's perfect for you, Herrick. Oh, I needed a dagger. I'll say this knife has been passed down, Wayland speaking, for my family for generations, and I, well, I. Come from humble beginnings, as many of you all know, here in East Haven. Uh, and I will gladly pass on this instrument of my beginnings to the winner. Herrick. <clears throat> Thank you. The so destroyer so it's, so of it's pies. Blunt, it's blunt then, is it? <laughs> I need to sharpen it. Okay. If it's that old. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you are you all seeing the, the little... Um, no. The the handouts that I'm popping up for you? Nope. No. How about now? Nothing. How about now? You're crazy. Well then, that would explain. Are you using that. show to, show to player? Yeah, yeah. I'm clicking on it, and ah, uh, for the night is long and full of errors. All right then. So let me see what I can do about that. All right. So um, so. The goggles of night, as you may well, as of those of you may well know, is our pair of goggles that can grant dark vision up to sixty feet, and also these add a plus two bonus to perception rolls. All right, and then the chef's knife handed down by Speaker Whalen is a finely balanced dagger 
It is offered plus one to attack and damage rolls. Mm -hmm. And its damage die is a D6. Oh, wow. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Is that, in, is that in there? To th Can I add that somewhere, or do I have to add it? Honestly, I'll, I'll go ahead and pass it. I'll put this in the the um, the thread for you guys. I had I made these, and they should be able to pop up and show you guys, but... Are they in D&D &D Beyond to add actually into... Uh, so the Goggles of Night are, but they've... Um, they ha I added on the bonus of the, uh, the plus two to perception, so... Yes. But... So that you'll you'll have to adjust those. Anyone who winds up using those, and then I'll put the chef's knife uh, into Herrick's inventory as well. So, all right, lovely. Oh. Uh -huh. All right, I would now like all of you to gather round, and we shall begin the Lore Masters Festival conclusion with a, a brief prayer. And you see. I say, Seeker Whalen sort of close his hands a little bit and, and start to offer up. A sign up he, he kind of pops his eye open, looks around, see if anybody else is following his example. Eric <laughs> is just watching. And I say, <laughs> and, and Prudence, Prudence, of course, steps forward and <clears throat> <clears throat> puts her hands in front of her and she starts to close her mind. And then I take a journal out and begin journaling. <laughs> love it. Love it. All right. Does, does anyone else participate uh, by this in this silent prayer moment? Uh, Harry, I suppose. Would, is and yeah. if, if is anyone else's to... eyes open like during this prayer thing? <clears throat> a couple of like you see the soldiers and some of the commoners are like some of them have like put their hands up and they're kind of looking around. Like so there's a few of them who are like fervently like, please let the rhyme end, please let the rhyme end. And then like there's a couple of guards who are like, Ugh. yeah. And then like and then and that's sort of a mixture between both the guards and the commoners. There's this apathy versus just absolute pleading of like you know it, oh, oh if only this works and also like it's never going to work mm. sort of thing uh anyone who uh manages to look over to uh the liars and truth seekers booth sees that amber coal fires is sort of clasping her necklace and like muttering a silent prayer as well How are and so the same? oh <clears throat> yeah if, if if like if a lot of them are taking this seriously uh Flynn it's is gonna. About, it's about half and half. So, well, like, like enough of them. Like, okay. It, like the the mood is definitely like not like half the people are taking that. Like, you know, like a, you know, like a like a, <laughs> um, when like your your over religious cousin wants to come over and have everybody do a prayer and everyone's like, all right, I guess we'll do it. Yeah, and you're just like, okay, let's all hold hands. Uh, but like, but like, since like enough of the people, like, since like the feeling of dread is deep enough. Yeah. Um, what Flynn is gonna do? He'll take a knee and take off his shield. Ooh. Um. His shield is adorned with a, uh, it's a, it's a blue field with a yellow moon and a wolf's head on it. Um, and it's the, the symbol of, of his order. So he'll take a knee and plant his shield in front of him as like a full uh, sign of respect for this nice. prayer. Nice. I like that. Yes. Very, very and cool. Zelvana also, because um, she's an um, Azimar, so she's very religious, um, will also hold on to her pendant and... Uh, close her eyes and have one hand up as well. Excellent. Love that. All I'm right. going to keep my eyes on the soothsayer mm -hmm. and just watch what she does. Excellent. Excellent. Just uh, observe and take notes. No, it's good. That's good. All right. So they're all. It looks up. Nothing. I was sure it would work. Damn! And you see him sort of, like, just turn and storm off. This like, is Speaker Speaker. Yeah, Whalen. Speaker Whalen. I say, so he turns and storms off, and enters. So, like, over here, just beyond this entryway, this goes into the town hall. So he turns in, and Prudence goes. Uh, she's quite flustered at this moment of like he, he had been so positive and so like robust in his belief in this festival and she's sort of taken back for a second at this outburst uh, the, uh, Indra steps forward uh, the lore masters competition will begin right away <clears throat> first contestant Siri 
Eli Quid. Hmm. He <laughs> steps to the side and then Prudence sort of like looks looks to Imdra. Thank you. And then she 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 walks off uh, right back after um uh the speaker. And so she heads out after him. Uh, and sure enough, here comes Eli Quid smelling a little less of vomit, but only slightly less. Mm. This, this um, one time, just back I to his a, usual amount of vomit. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I ate a hundred pies this one time. Evening, uh, all. Oh, I got a story for you. There uh, once was a pirate from Yates who could dance the fandango on skates. He fell on his cutlass, which rendered him nutless and perfectly useless on dates. <laughs> and then, that. surprisingly like, clever right, I yes. get off 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 the stage off the stage go, go. Oh, that was brilliant <laughs> kind of shoves him off the stage encore God, heavens and just like uh all right uh next up is flynn with... i'd like to sorry approach the soothsayer in between Axe. Excellent, excellent. As we're going. So as, and just... as Indra announced, next is Flynn with a tail. Uh, yes, this is one from my youth. Uh, I was once a young, foolhardy adventurer. In my travels, I met a stunning young woman. We traveled together, went on many, many different adventures. We formed a party with many other people, and we fought and saw the lands together. I made it a mind to make this woman my wife. I brought her to my hold in our grand, in our, uh, our grand hall uh, and in front of our large stained glass uh, uh, altar table, I set to propose to her. And as I got to my knees to offer her my hand in marriage, my closest friend, Joseph the Grey Wolf, ran in, desperate to tell me something. I never, I don't know what it was to this day. For he ran in and fell ass over end into our great ritual table. The glass shattered into millions of pieces. It would have been a beautiful sight, all those rainbow lights scattering across our hall if it didn't cost him his face. The healer took days to put that man back together. Me and my woman stayed by his side for he was my dear friend. And so we stood there and we mended him back to health. When the healer was done, there was nothing could be done with him let, but still cover his face in cotton bandages. And so we held him as best as we could. But one day I came back to the hole to find that he had run off with my woman to lands unknown, leaving me no notes to say where they were going. And so all I have to say is this. If it had not been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd be married a long time ago. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Deep bow, and I walk up the stage. <laughs> <laughs> O M D. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, oh Flynn, God. make a combined roll of history <laughs> and performance. So, so roll your history, roll your wow. Performance. Oh. Goodness, good uh. God, gracious! All right, so an eleven and ah, uh, come on, performance. <laughs> Please. 19. There you 19. Go. Yes. <laughs> All right. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> that'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. So a total of 30 points for Flynn for his <laughs> rousing tale of cotton eyed Joe. Well, so just for, for, for comparison, how much did Eli get for the, the limerick? How many points? Oh, Eli was immediately shoved off the stage for the limerick. Though, though it was clever. You know what? That's fair. I should, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and have him. So he's going to roll. He's going to roll 2d20. And his combined roll was, <laughs> yeah, fifteen. He rolled a, a nat one, and a <laughs> uh, which which seems appropriate for yes. the uh, it's very fitting. clever, 
but yeah. also clever but terrible delivery. Yeah, <laughs> but boo, that, boo that, that checks out. Yes, all right. Uh, Harry was Lovely. cheering. <laughs> What's that? Because Harry was cheering for him. Yeah, Harry's like <laughs> loved it. Brilliant. More encore. All right. Um, so uh, Lumi is going to go ahead and step forward for the next one. <clears throat> Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. <clears throat> um, this one is um. So I once had a friend who was a ranger, mm -hmm, uh, whose sexual appetites were stranger. And then after five flagons, they'd go fuck a dragon. Hey, some folks live for the danger, huh? Huh? Wow. Uh, read read, read the read read the room, Lumi. Read the room. I don't get it. Oh, he, he he got fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Walks off. All right. <laughs> oh, good 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 job. Good, good job. Good. <laughs> I'm just like fuck hell. Know your audience. All right. Um and. <laughs> Blessedly, last for the night, it will be Zolvana. Oh, my favorite. With a song. Please let it be Cotton Eye Joe. Please. Let it be Joe. <laughs> <laughs> of the old tower atop the old hill, a maiden sat plucking the lyre. Every day, notes drift down, and the lads in the town. Swear an angel must live up that spire. But each lad that's attempted to come to the aid of the maiden that's up there alone has returned home rejected, dismayed and dejected, despondent, depressed, and with wild oats unsown. There's a lonesome refrain that's now stuck in the brain of each lad that has ever essayed. The lass with the lyre may provoke men's desire till they hear the song sung by the maid. For she sings, on your way, lads, be on your way. Mine's a tower you've no need to climb. I've heard every cliche, lad, so be on your way, lad. There's no dragon to slay, so sawed off, I'm just fine. Oh, it's beautiful. Now that one fairy i'll really cheers for Amazing. yeah absolutely <laughs> i'm really but glad like, i went before that that was wild a terrible follow-up <laughs> and as like so as the claps are going off <laughs> suddenly you hear this piercing scream of prudence <gasps> and she screams it comes right out she's like he's dead oh my god he's dead please go quickly Indra's, what what and so she I am running. Bur bursts through the town hall doors and into town hall proper. Oh no! Oh no! All right, and you find yourselves in the first floor of the town hall. That's right, the right. the floor where the speaker is. Yes, and say that's that's that floor where the speaker is. Are we Me dragging? Or? Are we dragging on? uh you, you certainly can um so like prudence comes over she's like oh my god i, I had I had walked in to find him and he was just on the floor and i couldn't i saw it and i, I and my voice was just and then he was dead I, I i tried to revive him and you you look at her and she's got like blood on her hands as if like and and there's like and there's there's like bloody handprints on the speaker's back as if she was trying to resuscitate him from his spine. I, clearly, she didn't look like she has a lot of, uh, doesn't have a medical degree, but, uh, and the speaker is sitting like face down on the stone floor with an icicle sticking <sighs> through his shoulder blades. Uh, what I'm what gonna, did you see? I, while, while they're doing that, I'm gonna motion to Flynn and and DM, I'm coming to this door here mm -hmm. to see if it looks ajar, or mm. if it if if I can tell that, that someone has recently passed through here. Excellent, excellent. Obviously, someone has recently passed, but <laughs> see if, anyone, <laughs> uh, if anyone's gone through this door recently. Right. So, upon uh, looking at that door, there you notice that the door is locked. 
Can I insight check the lady? Oh, uh, prudence? Yeah. yeah, I was going to oh, do the same as well. Yeah, yeah. Absol I'm... absolutely you can. All right, so uh, roll me that insight check. So I'll turn my attention to the body in that case. 25. That, that, that sounds about right. All right, so let's see here. 25. All righty. 25. Good, yeah, no. She... She appears to be telling the truth. I mean, uh, and from the look of her, like, distraught face, though, yeah, like, she, like, she, she's got the look of a woman in shock. So. May I investigate the body? You yes. absolutely can investigate the body. So. I would do a medicine check as well. Oh, yes, do a medicine check. All right. So. 17. 17. Good, good. Give me that medicine check. 21. Excellent. So with the 21 and the 17, you notice that this this poor Speaker Whalen has been, like, stabbed. Just, like, furiously, st like, repeatedly stabbed. And then only one of them seems to have the icicle in it. And the icicle is kind of loose in what would be the whole... So, with a 17 and a 21 in medicine... It seems like the MO of the ice pick of the of the cold hearted killer is what? With stabbing with an stab ice. Stab with the ice. Stab with the ice in the heart. In, in the heart. The heart. Yeah. And then on top of that, Herrick, with your twenty one roll, the this ice pick or, or this icicle, I should say, it it like it's loose in the stab wound where typically you stab something oh, into some place. Killer. Does it look like it's been placed? Yeah, yeah. Or, or at least the hole that it's in was not made by the icicle. Yeah. Can I run outside and look around the building and see, like, oh. if there's, like, oh. anybody oh. acting weird, anybody, like, trying to get away, anybody who seems oh, suspicious in the crowd? Absolutely, you can. Now, as soon as you, like, cracked it off, Imdra had, like, shouted out to, like, just, like, everyone... Like seal the courtyard, like no one in, no one out. Like make sure guards. And now, granted, there were only like a handful of guards on site for the festival, and there are a lot more commoners. So it's possible some people slipped away. But uh, go ahead, head outside and roll me. Uh... Is Imdra outside? Yeah, Imdra is outside. She's kind of like, as you guys kind of burst through the door, she's like standing in the doorway, keeping her eyes in the courtyard, kind of turning and keeping her eyes on the group of you as well. She's And she's kind of like keeping her head on the swivel, looking at both. Because with Prudence indoors, she usually handles the stuff inside Town Hall. Imdra usually handles the stuff outside Town Hall. And this is one of those awkward moments of like communication is breaking down a little bit. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So she's kind of stuck in between. Uh Beriara, you go outside and roll me a perception check. Oh my god, really? <laughs> wow. Oh, in case Redo. you didn't see that, that she, is double one. No. She nat wanted uh, tweets, y'all. Tw like two s snake eyes. This is just. Wow. So you go outside and like the 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 people fleeing and running is just chaos. Like it like it, the snow has just been churned. There's no discernible like prints that you can tell. Yeah, guys, it's still winter out here. It's totally still winter. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. that's a lot of winter. DM, what is this thing? Is it like a stage? Yes. So that appears to be sort of like a um, like a like a dais where like he would hold uh, like a town sort like he would sit on the dais and then be like all right who, who do we hear next yeah. and then they yes here we hear the next you know, like and so the people would come in and sort of do their chats so. to go with, check for tracks see if there's a see if there's a secret compartment underneath that stage mm. uh, where is prudence prudence yes oh 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 so uh, prudence is currently right there let me see if I can't so she is she's like. She's like here in the like over in the corner as sure. she's like. Can sort of I can I kind of rush up to her and as yes. gently but forcefully as I can ask her if there's a key to this door, the one that Flynn and I are at. Yeah, yeah, no, of course there. I I have a key and and so does the. It's deep 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 so breaths deep breaths. Uh huh. So so does who? So does Waylon? 
the, the speaker I had one. See, see if Waylon still has his key. I will and, check. And, yeah. and I'm going to come to the door and look at Flynn. Ready? I pull out my, my swords. And I will. I right, who's will... checking on the. I'm checking on... for a key. I wanted to, yeah. I wanted to see if there was anything on the speaker that is obviously missing. Like, is does he have a ring that he normally is wearing that is missing? Does mm. he have a coin pouch? Or Excellent. is that okay. taken? So make, uh, uh, or does my old investigation apply I... to those, or do you want something new? You know what? Uh, so the old investigation will apply to those unless you want to try to better that. But I don't... Uh, so with the 17, like, you don't... Like, this doesn't look like a robbery. Like, yeah, he's got he's got his keys on him. He's got rings. He's got... Uh, he, he looks a, almost exactly like he did with... Uh, as he did when you saw him on the dais, like, not but maybe 15 minutes ago. So okay. it just doesn't seem to make sense... Like he, he looks like he was beaten to death and then stabbed, and then, like, and and then and then they just left. Like, but he, there was the room behind you is locked. Only Prudence and the speaker had the keys. The keys are still on him, unless unless like, Prudence's keys are gone. What's no, that? I have Prudence's keys. Yeah, yeah. So, so, okay. so Prudence, Prudence held up her key. So both keys are on them. And the Prudence, only, what did way, you see? What did I? I, I came in. He he had sworn and and stamped and, and and walked in and and then I had talked with, um, Imdra and then uh, I walked in and he said he was very upset and couldn't understand. I said I understand, I understand. And and then I I he come out and then he, I looked back and I must have. I stepped in, to the room. To I, I went into the the room next door to. To try to get, gra gather the, the the prize for for the end of the lore master competition, I came back out through the door, and he was just he was there. He was on the floor, and he he was there was so much blood. I didn't know what to do. I, I need you to focus right now. I tried to. Help he was him. in. He was alive when you were in this room. You left the room through the only locked door, and when you came back, he was dead. <laughs> And no one passed you. You saw nothing. I I, I didn't see anyone. I, I mean, he and I are. It's a, it's a very small staff who, who work here. In the, I mean, there's there's the guards, but they were all outside in the grounds for the festival. I mean, no disrespect, ma'am. Yes. But you're gonna have to come with us. You just stay stay here. What? And then, uh, as we, soon as you say you're going to have to come with us, Imdra steps into the town hall and is like, "Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry. While I appreciate your assistance in this grave matter, uh, as it stands, Prudence and I are the authority here in East Haven. So while we Understood. welcome your assistance, I'm afraid." I'm not going to have you interrogating her without me present. More importantly, Prudence is the victim here. Until proven otherwise. Do we agree? I think the victim's there on the floor. Agreed. <sighs> the only victim that we can currently help. Yes, yeah, yes. Is there any secret doors under this thing here? The stage? Um, uh, uh, no, not that... I can always check as I give my maul a tap. What? No, what are you, what are you doing? How else would the killer have got in here, if not through that door where you were, or through the front door where no one saw anyone come in? Well, there, there is another way, in invisibility or teleportation, which really ups the stakes. And then Imdra's like... Indeed. Fucking wizards. I knew it. When, when, knew she, when she says that, I'm going to like grab onto my, the hilt of my rapier. <laughs> and, uh, and and just kind of look around. <laughs> Flynn, you put a hand up. <laughs> like, da, 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 da. Well, oh, I have two swords oh, in my no, hand right no, now. Not, not <laughs> as I'm going to attack her, but like grabbing my sword like, yeah, I know, right? Those... Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those as darn the, wizards, the, man. Damn spell cast. She's like, I knew it. 
I knew the second that we burned that bastard in the square that there were going to be more of them. They breed like rats. It's an infestation. I'm gonna Prudence, I'm so glad that you weren't hurt at all. Do we Captain, do these... I mean, these wounds are quite vicious. This this doesn't seem to be the work of a of a of a wizard. I wouldn't expect. Well, this how ice else was do you placed ex- here. <laughs> how else do you expect them to have have gotten into and out of a, a, a locked room, or at least uh, prudence? Who would have seen them? At least exiting the way that she was going, and through the, the double doors there, it was the entire town for the festival. I'm going to listen out for not any ruling shuffling out. that doesn't belong to people that are in this room. Listening for shuffling? Yeah, like a scuff on the floor. Like someone that could be invisible. Excellent. Roll me a, roll me a perception check. Would I have come back inside by now? I, I certainly hope so. Okay. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> After that double one, you're just like, yeah, new. No, it's not going to be any Nothing out here. 30, 20. Excellent. Nice. So, um, at first... Herrick, you, you're looking down at the floor, and you're like, oh, it's just uh, cobblestones, some salt stains, and, you know, like uh, it's like, you know, what, what you get with ice and... Wait. And then you notice that there's, like, a small boot print in that very easily could have been overlooked through the way that the cobblestones are sort of laid out. But because of the way the ice falls and the snow and the salt, you see this track of feet that are leading out through the double doors. The way we come in. The way you came in. And that, my friends, is where we're going to take our five-minute break. Hello, and welcome back, friends, to Cold Hard Witch. I'm the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, your effing DM, and we just discovered a murder. Shortly after the Winter Festival here in the town of East Haven, the party were party to a murder, or at least one that they discovered inside the town hall. The speaker, Dennis Whalen, was discovered dead inside the doors, and our clerical warrior, Herrick, just discovered a set of footprints leading back out into the snow. I, I assume that Herrick tells us uh, all that points it out. Crack that off, Herrick. Let him know. There's, there's, a, there's some footprints here. Look. Go back outside. Definitely someone invisible. You won't be able to tell anything outside. It's chaos out there. I, I already looked. I'd like to take a quick sketch of this uh footprint in my journal excellent Get, uh... i'm gonna i'm gonna give um prudence her key back and i'm gonna ask the captain uh, have you have you had run-ins with invisible assailants here i mean i know that this is a you know a, 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 a pro pickpocket town but is anyone is anyone doing it invisibly or, or assaulting people invisibly? Oh, this is definitely a setup. Look. I'm, yeah. Well, we've any any strange tales, assaults that you can't that don't seem to make sense? I mean, we had rumors of people seeing tracks in the snow, but nobody making them or or and uh, some were folks they, ha- have claimed that their were houses they... were, were being rans- like ransacked and broken into, but but nothing was taken. I, I chalked it up to you know, cabin fever or, or, or the fact that, you know, some of these people were known to hit the bottle a little hard. And But, I, I mean, my God, the has the speaker, speaker is dead. Has the speaker made anyone angry recently? Has he put down any laws or... Is there anyone that's against his praying to to end this winter? Oh, yeah, followers of Oriel who are loving this? Well, there is the uh, the innkeep at the uh, the wet trout. Yeah, I say she's a she's a devout follower of Oriel, though I uh, say nothing. I mean, she, she certainly serviced the town. Uh, uh, N- Nymetra, uh, Nymetra Myskin, uh, Dragonborn, mm-hmm. tough, tough broad, but and she's opinionated. But I, I 
murder and a dragonborn. I mean, I mean, look at that boot print. Have you ever seen a dragonborn wear boots? Well, no. you can hire out. Uh, uh, very old. Do you think we could maybe, maybe track this? There was a lot of movement outside. People running everywhere. I think it'll be hard. Let's have a look, shall we? Good luck with cleaning this up. We'll be back for our prize later. You see Imdra kind of move to Prudence and like put a hand on her shoulder and Prudence is still like puts, puts her hand up to Imdra's hand and just sort of squeezes it. She's still sitting on the floor, kind of like almost like hugging her knees. She's as she's like she can't take her eyes off of the corpse of the spirit. Is, is there anything in the room that we could cover him with? Uh, he so he had his cloak that is um, a little bit soiled uh, with his blood, but you you could you know we could at least. Up. Cover cover his like, face. Yeah, sort of like take the hood of it and put it up and over, so he's, you're not staring at his dead eyes. Yeah, I'll I'll try to do that. And... Oh, good, good. Yeah, so yeah, she. We'll try to find the killer. Don't worry. All right, uh, follow the prince. If if you need help or uh, seek seek one of my guards, send them back to me as soon as you can. Let me know, and then don't go picking a fight that you can't uh -huh. win. I was so, going to say, do we have your permission to crack some skulls? If we do find them. If you have to defend yourself, Wink, I understand. You don't gets. usually say Wink, you just do it. Would you rather us defend ourselves, or would you rather deal with the problem yourself? If it's a problem that you don't think you can deal with, or... Uh, if you'd like to let me know, I will certainly handle it. The trail is getting cold. Yeah, let's start the search on that. Uh, I, I just I want to touch base with her about the the dagger, the ice dagger copycat thing, just so she knows that that's now a a new mo for people. Oh my god! Someone would copycat. <clears throat> Strange things happen on the ice. All right. Good luck. Godspeed. Out. Meanwhile, make Prudence gets back on her feet. As they, uh, as, as the party heads out, just discovering the death of Speaker Whalen, stabbed to death in his own town hall, as discovered by his assistant, Prudence. Uh, the party is now on the track of what appears to be a copycat, cold-hearted killer, who's invisible. Mm. All right, so you head yourselves back out into the festival square. Yep, trying to follow the tracks as best we can. Lovely, lovely. Hey, um, I, and I'm going to stay up on the the stone steps and just try to, like, like while they're following the tree a little bit, I'm going to try to just, like, perceive if I can. Does that make sense? So you're so they're, they're active, but I'm here trying to see if I see folks running, if I see someone in gotcha. Small so boots you're kind of, trying to look nonchalant. So you're having the high ground, then, is what you're saying. <laughs> yes, I guess. Lovely, so. excellent. It's all right. So uh, Reginald will uh, grab his journal that he's made that uh, like sketch and just blatantly walk up to people and like hold the the notebook next to their feet and try to compare footprints. <laughs> Uh, who are you holding the uh, who are you folding the sketch up to? Um, it, it? it's a it's a smaller print, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Well, then I'll start with Lumi, and then I will go to everyone else. Okay. So as you go to Lumi, and she's like, "What? What are you doing?" And like you pick up her boot and kind of do the comparison between the two. And while her foot is the same size, it's a much her her. Boot print is a much slender outline. This has a broader sort of uh, track to it. Could I tell what kind of creature might have left that kind of print? Is there a is a check is is there a check for that or roll me history? You notice that both Herrick. And Erg Hoover 
seem a dead match for that boot print. Um, do we recall seeing Erg during the uh, Lore Master competition? Yes. So Erg was uh, was sort of sitting over with uh, his wrestling rink uh, and uh, <laughs> sitting with the rink. Hello, rink. No. Um, so he was sort of sitting over uh, with the group and the commoners. And uh, to your knowledge, Erg couldn't turn invisible. But I uh, I, th I think Fariel had something for you, and then I have something after that. DM. Oh, excellent. Very yeah, good. as we're leaving, I was just going to say, hey, Flynn. <laughs> Sorry, I had a cat running around in here. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, it's, now, it's now Cat Hard Witch. That's yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and I don't hate it at all. I don't think any of us do. I know, right? <laughs> that, that was some good shooting earlier. Here. And I'm going to toss him the goggles. Th th thank you. Do you want the silver for this, or no? Keep it. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I immediately put them on my head. <laughs> and you have dark vision now. Yeah. Um, I once I see that the professor has the sketch of the of the print. Uh, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna look at the the print very closely, and then I'm going to summon my familiar. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to tell Are you using my... ritual for that, uh, Xander? No, no oh. I don't have to. Oh, nice. I'm not, I'm not finding familiar. I'm popping my familiar, like pop, popping ah, it back. Excellent. To, excellent. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to think thought with my familiar Tempest, um, nice. to, to try to, you know, I know it's lots of prints and lots of shit going on, but try to find a print like this to start making circles finding someone walking away and and then come back in 15 minutes and tell me what you found. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So we've got the, uh, <clears throat> so the Tempest, the familiar is out searching for uh, similar prints. What is the rest of the party? Fairy L I say after your, uh, after your handoff to Flynn of the night of the goggles of night, nicely done. I um, will, uh, I'll inform Fairy L and Flynn that I, I suspect we are looking for a dwarf. Mm, excellent. All right. So, do, do I Eric. do I hear him say that as well? To Fariel? Yeah. Well, was... that yeah. If 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 everyone isn't too spread out, I will. Okay. Yeah. Then then them know. I I will think that then to Tempest that it's probably a dwarf. Right. So then as so as I, I'm just gonna count. Oh, apparently I have two Sylvanas on the board. Yeah. Sorry about that. I so popular. That. I love it. All right. <laughs> I'm imagining that like so with. With Xander sort of keeping the high ground and like eyes on the bird, uh, then we've got Flynn and the rest of everybody sort of bunched in this group together. So you all hear the professor sort of pass along. Um, we are looking for a dwarf. So, and everyone kind of, I mean, obviously, does anybody eyeball Herrick or uh, or or? Uh, I or... very like subtly like under my hood, just give him like a sideways glance, like. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That'd be old. The old, uh, the it old was me. <laughs> well, you never expect yourself to be a killer. <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> All right, friends. So, uh, shall we do a party perception check? Yeah. All yeah. right, let's do it. Yeah. So, group perception check to see if we can track down the killer. So, uh, they each need to roll above a DC to see how we're doing. And man, this is a struggle bus right now. All right. So, uh, looks like. Herrick comes in with Jeez a crow. 20. Boom, that's a, that's a success. The professor gonna, wait. Oh, no, I'm looking at earlier. I'm looking at earlier perceptions. Now let's take a look at these. Oh my goodness. Oh my golly. That's right. Zavana and I have the party held down at the moment. Yeah. Now, I'm not helping. Okay. I got a 22. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Comes yeah, you in did. with a 22, though, at this disadvantage roll, which is not disadvantage, friends at home, uh, she got yeah, another sorry. nat one. I don't know. I don't know. I think. <laughs> Man, I don't know who you pissed off, but suddenly the <laughs> dice cuts are after you today. All right, so 22 is a pass. A 6 is a fail. A 19 is a pass. And a 6 oh. is a fail. Do I get to roll perception on Tempest? And then a 23 is a pass. So we are three passes, two, uh, two fails. That means the party 
is uh so you're able to sort of discern that there are dwarf tracks that are leading through the through the festival grounds and, and there seems to be one track but it gets trampled by by commoner footprints and it, it's very very hard for you to discern the direction you think it's possible and then tempest comes back in buddy make a perception roll at advantage with tempest go tempest so that's what, a good what is tempest? question yeah what tempest, does tempest look like Th tempest is my familiar owl Mm -hmm. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Um, go ahead. We all? I would say Ooh. roll your perception and do advantage. Okay. Does, does does Tempest have a different uh, modifier than you? You know that's a Probably. super good question. I think I've, now I've, I've, rolls perception for the sake anyway. of for the sake of stream. Yeah, roll, I, roll I, your at, roll yours at advantage, and we'll we'll figure it out after. We'll day. figure that out. I've never yeah. used a familiar in D and D B, uh, but I will figure that out. Dig it. Rolling, 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 rolling. Oof. Whew. All right. And with that final 10, so with an order of four <laughs> to two, barely Tempest. Barely Tempest. Uh, um, she's in the air. She's up high in the yeah, air. Yeah, it's hard. It's white. Everything's white. Look at this. It's so ball. cold. All right. <laughs> Wind. Um, so with a I'm four to you. two, <laughs> you are able to discern that the tracks definitely so while there's a bunch of sort of like pandemonium and noise all around this part in the festival the dwarven tracks head this way out of town or out of out of the out of the city square towards the lake and as you look up at this signpost it says east haven ferry Hmm. Let's go. And we were told before that the ferry wasn't running because of all the ice, right? Yep. Is the door uh, to the the keep open still at all? Yeah. So, like, so Imdra's in there, and as as she sort of looks out and sees you, uh, so Xander, she looks and like you're standing right there. She looks, makes eye contact with you, and you see her sort of like shut the doors. But well, but before she shuts the doors, I'm going to say we're headed to the ferry. All right. I'll have some men meet you there. I'll look to see over if Amber's still there. Oh, uh, Amber Colfire. Yes, yeah. yes, the soothsayer. I was like, I was like, her name was Prudence Herrick Rude. <laughs> no. Um, uh, yeah, so, so Amber uh, has actually uh, packed up the tent and so uh as she's sort of packing up her table you see her sort of like putting things away a little bit and she sees you looking at her and she's like she gives you like a sort of knowing nod and then continues to pack up her things she packing calmly yeah yeah she doesn't really seem too calmly <laughs> suspiciously calmly insight insight worthy calmly natural yeah one. oh she's fine that's three natural ones for me tonight oh baby oh baby man that's a that's a cold hard damn right there hey i got two of them at the same time that's true right? that's true man. i do that all the time amy with stealth it's the problem with rolling when it's cold outside My hand, they just don't want to work yeah. it's not good so yeah no <laughs> as she's a as she is like she's packing up like she's she seems calm but like N nothing seems super suspicious with an inside of seven. She's, <laughs> in, she's innocent. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not her. She can't even do magic. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagine all the characters in D&D &D games travel. It's like a Muppet sort of hop on our thing. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going, friends? Um, I'm assuming hey. Ethel's tied up in a stable somewhere. Yes, yes. So, uh, as... As you recall from, well, you 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 recall, but you couldn't see it. Um, going back to your East Haven map, as I'll drop you all there, uh, the stables are right here okay. uh, as you kind of come in. So as you sort of walked in through the way there, you would have seen or smelled more the stables as you were walking into the town. So you can go ahead and have her uh, stabled up there if you like. Yeah. And then uh, the town or the signposts, so the town hall and the festival were, was happening right here. And then uh, the East Haven Ferry is right here out on this dock. Right, we we hustle. All right. Hustle your bustle then. All right, friends. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead and make your way to the East Haven Ferry. Uh, Imdra did say that she would send some soldiers along. 
but uh, with the state of the city hall and of the town hall and sort of what's going on, uh, it, there's no guarantee they'll get there in a, in a in a orderly and speedy fashion. So, as you find yourselves here, we're on a the, bow, and I'm on a boat. So, go ahead and uh, put yourselves onto this boat. Flipping bugs, motherfucker. <laughs> but, uh, uh, where's the dock? Are we going on so, the boat? Yeah, so it's frozen in the water, and uh, imagine if you will. So this was the uh, this was the map that they give you for all sundry boats that are used for this game. I see. So there's no dock attached. Though. Yeah, there, yeah, there are, there are multiple boats, no docks. So okay. Um, were we able to pick up uh, footprints, or or was on the way was Tempest able to see anyone? So with that, this way, with that party roll of the four to two, like this, like the trail of footprints led you to this ferry. And so okay. as you were sort of tracking it along, like it literally clomp, 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 like you, you walked in and you're like, okay. And it, like, then they lead up onto the boat. So as everyone sort of gets onto the boat, so imagine if you will, that like the dock is sort of along this side of the boat here, everyone would have entered from where exactly the professor is. So uh, if I could have all of you, I'm gonna shift you all a little bit, do do do, do because I am the god of this world. All right. I, so um, I'm unstrapping my shield and pulling out my war pick. Actually, yeah. So as you all get onto the boat, I'm gonna say you notice that the tracks seem to lead towards the aft part of the ship. For those of you land lovers, I was about to say, oh. that's the back. <laughs> so is that the front or the back? Yeah. Right. Um. Oh, I've never been in a boat. Yeah. Oh, oh no. To be fair, I had to look that up. Good. Did you know starboard and port though? Right. Which is which? Is like aft and fore are starboard and port. Yeah. yeah. Well, starboard and port is right and left. Yes. Yeah. Port, port is left. Starboard is yeah. right. Because four uh, letters, port four letters. Line. That's how I remember. Yeah. Right. I said. I, I, I know port and sherry. All right. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Exactly. I. Uh, I love that you're not commenting on all of my, my, my map drawing tweaks, Ryan. Oh, no, buddy. You're doing so good. God, I'm going to cartography we, school. We are going to put this map on the fridge, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so, buddy went ahead and put a little dock out there for us. All right, um, so, so I, I'm going to... I know that we have put a lot of footprints in as well, but I'm going to have Tempest uh, kind of in a holding pattern up here. Okay. And to uh, close enough to alert me if other mysterious footprints start showing up or if a pack of dwarves show up Absolutely. and or oh, when, pack of dwarves and yeah, right. or when the soldiers show up so i'm assuming okay. we're going to go below decks but tempest will tell me what's happening outside excellent love that okay great so uh so you have tempest sort of circling the ship as it were Mm -hmm. And keeping an eyeballs on things. Uh, I, I'm gonna set my trap. We should oh, reset the trap. Yeah, uh, like where you would leave the boat to get onto the thing. So it'd be on the boat. And okay, I'll, so mi I'll like, mix it between like some netting or something. Okay, so you so but you're leaving it up on the deck of the ship. Yeah. So if we've <laughs> okay. come on, if we've come on here, for example, after like we're it. all on, I'm gonna set it and then <laughs> like put some netting around it. All right. I better not lose this one. <laughs> You've trapped Captain Emdra. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'd have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling murder hobos. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. So uh, so we've got uh, Herrick sets the trap on the deck. And then you notice that. The, so uh, with, your, with your perceptions, you're able to determine that the trail is leading here, which is the stairs that go down to the lower deck in the aft portion of the ship. So, would it be what would it be reasonable to assume that these stairs lead down uh, they just don't they lead four not aft, but there's only going to be one downstairs, right? I mean, this isn't like a luxury liner. Uh, so, is that well, a bit too far? That so while there is a chance that like so so yes, these stairs will lead down there and uh and any all Frequented ships in your travels? I would have, yeah. Uh, 
Reginald would have traveled by ship. I was going to say, I'm going to guess from the fact that some of y'all struggle with the word aft, that uh, <laughs> that maybe, maybe not. So, uh, anyone who wishes, roll me a... Roll me a history check. Or, uh, I guess, is that... Is it... 18 with the Professor. Good. And an 11 with Flynn. Okay, okay. So, uh, with the Professor, he's able to say, if we wish to go in there, it would be wise to perhaps maybe go in there. And he points behind you to the sets, uh, to the set of stairs that lead down into the fore part of the ship. He says, um, in my experience, one bottom leads to another bottom. If that's what you're into. My typical Saturday <laughs> night. Blink, blink. Um, <laughs> Wow. Uh, and, or we could do the thing that you should never do, which is split the party. I was thinking that. Actually. I mean, I was thinking you could you could have somebody you could have a couple of people like standing there at the top of the steps, like come on, mother, let's do this, and then send the rest of the group the other way. What if we smoke them out? Draw uh, them out somehow. So you, so you light it on fire? Is that what? Are I'm we hearing? thinking that they're joined? <laughs> are we thinking that these staircases are joined underneath? Typically, yes. Well, hmm. why don't we, Flynn, you go down one side, I'll go down the other. Oh, I'm ready for this. And I flick down the goggles and pull up my <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we split the party. I was ready I was, for this. I'm afraid <laughs> need, if we all go down one side, they could just sneak up around behind us. So exactly. I kind of do think that's a better idea. So, Well, if you need a distraction, I could all, always just like put some sparkler fingers like down... Sparkling you know, fingers. I like that idea. Sparkling fingers. Yo, sparkling <laughs> fingers, eh? <laughs> I, uh, so who's I with Flynn and who's with me? I'll go with Herrick. I'll, I'll go with Flynn. Flynn. Zalvana, uh, are you with, with us or are you with them? Um, Make a choice. <laughs> Wait. There, Come on, Fingler. <laughs> right right now it's me and Herrick and then Okay, the I'll go three. with you guys. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll go with you. So I'm gonna go. show my bow and uh, pull out my short sword. If we okay, find so. anything, I will. Xander, I'll attempt to contact you. Copy that. Flynn, north or south? Take south. Roger that. I will go up to All the right. north. And I will draw my rapier. I will lead the way. All right, so who is going below deck? All of us. Okay. All, all six of us. All six of you. Okay, and and no one's no one's watching. Okay, I right, dig it. Well, yes, well, we yes. haven't seen Tempest. anyone. <laughs> Tempest is watching the top. Yeah, excellent. I, excellent. I mean, we've seen the tracks go down, correct? Absolutely. So you've seen the tracks go down. This. Oh, I see. I see. So you guys are splitting the party and going two different ways. Yes. Love it. That's... That was that was the whole thing about do the two staircases connect? Yeah. Yeah. No, I. Love I can that. rewind the stream if we need to. No, 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 that's good. I was just like, like, are they, are they just heading down this thing without having Okay, no, it's good. No, it's, it's good. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. All right, so, uh, Herrick, Xander, as you go ahead and head down to the... And me. And, and Zalvana. And Zalvana. <clears throat> so right you're out. out. So get, your, get yourself over to the group then. Me, right. I don't... <sighs> so as you head down, you notice that there is... Uh, uh, Sort of a, a little wooden table set up in as if it was sort of a. This looks like where they would sort of spend the time playing cards, messing around a little bit. So nothing really seems out of a miss here. You also notice that there are two stairwells on either side that, if my clicker would work, uh, lead down into what would be the storage, uh, the, sort of the main belly of the <laughs> ship. Now, to the other side of the ship. No, 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 no. All right, so as we go to the other side of the ship, Uh, so I've got Flynn, the Professor, and Fariel, who are entering down. And as you enter down, you notice that this is a sort of a double staircase. This staircase here leads down and around, and that would go into what you believe to be the belly of the ship. There is a door here, um, which you think leads to like what would be an aft cabin, or uh, maybe the sleeping quarters. So, where do you go? Uh, if you could tell me on the forecastle, what 
these bits and bobs are? So those look like bunks. Looks like four hammocks. I see. They're attached. And I'm mm-hmm. guessing with this thing being wood, we're not quiet. Mm, no. Especially considering like you guys came on top and then now you're kind of like running mm-hmm. around the bottom of it. So like it, <clears throat> if there's somebody on the ship, they definitely know that like yeah. you're here. Okay. Um So if he's going to go there, I'm going to I'm going to stay on this side. Okay. Cool. So you guys are sort of Come, uh, all right, and then uh, Herrick, you've got dark vision, yes? Yes, I and so do okay. I. So, actually, 300 feet. And, and so does Zelvana, actually. Oh, yeah, I have brilliant. Brilliant. Well. Okay, so between the two of you, then, so if Zelvana positions herself around the corner, uh, between the three of you, actually, you all sort of like look across the way, and Zelvana, you see Herrick, and then you can kind of look out of the corner and see Xander, and you don't, like, you see, it looks like these are some spare boats. In the in the bottom of the ship, but there doesn't seem to be I anything the, else. I look on the floor for any puddles of melted snow. Excellent. Roll me a perception check. <clears throat> Twenty-one. Nineteen. With the perception check, you notice that they're like while there appear to have been tracks made across the ship, uh, the dust. And sort of the the way in which they're dried, like it's not fresh, wet tracks from the snow above that you've that you would typically see on like a ship that had just walked that you just walked on. So it looks like there there people have traversed this part of the ship, but it's not been recently. Okay. Hmm. Um. So no, I can't see anyone that's over here yet. So no, no. Oh yeah. So I think I think. I Zol- here, oh no, no, not not Zolvana. Zolvana's over there. Zolvana. Anybody in this group? Uh, Flynn, what are you doing? So Flynn, um, Professor, Fariel, on the other side of the ship. Yeah, uh, so seeing how th- this is like a, like a tighter corner here, right? Yeah, absolutely it is. Yeah. So I'm g- definitely going to stow um, the, the crossbow and pull out my, my two rapiers. Um, I, pr- I applaud this. This is a good plan. Uh, and this is a door right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm gonna like, like ease the door open. Okay. Uh, and these goggles give me a plus two to perception. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. You can, cool, cool, you cool. can add that manually. Uh, and I wanna uh. See if there's like uh tracks that lead into into this room here, um. And is that like is this bedroom over here connected to the room? Yes, yes. So this, so this entire area like is the captain's sort of quarters. One, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the captain's quarters. Uh, this, this is a curtain. This, this. Um, hang on a second. Let me actually get my clicker going. Get my clicker going. So yeah, that there is a curtain that sort of separates the the the, the bed from the rest of the room, so that way you could have a little bit of privacy. Uh, okay. Cool. So, you, so you've cracked the door open. Yes. Roll me perception. Uh, oh, no, not that one. <laughs> it was going to be persuasion, and that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> hey, dog. Ooh. There we Come go. Out, 21. Guys. Plus two, nice. right? Plus two. Yep. 21. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Well, right, no, is it 21 plus two from your goggles, though, right? No. No. I Yeah. Uh, I don't have... I didn't have any t- perception to begin with. Oh, So wow. now I have plus two. <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay. So, with, yeah, with that 21, uh, you, you definitely see the tracks go like in and around the corner to over here behind the curtain uh i'm gonna like gesture in to fariel and uh the professor so i yeah i'm definitely gonna like move it move into the room uh okay Okay. i'm gonna just lightly place my hand on your shoulder when you say move in okay 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 so you're moving up on that curtain flynn yeah do we see them go in at all so you haven't seen the other group. Uh, they, so like none of them kind of came around the corner oh, and so said anything out. to y'all. But you you came in, you, you looked across the way there, and you all saw that this that this area was completely empty or, of of recent tracks. And so you can certainly start to make your way. We across. see Reginald now. He's moved there. So yes. So yeah, as you see Reginald kind of move in, and Reginald's kind of like feeling the wall because it is it is dark in the bottom of this ship. Everybody. So 
The only the only sort of dim light you get is this section right here, which has that grate on the upper above. Uh, oh, everything right. else is pitch black under dark. Harry's like, oh, I've got a damn humans I probably can't see. And he thinks about it and maybe shares it. Good, yeah. So he passes that along to Sandra and Zalvano, and they're like, yeah, but we can see that. Yeah, but no, but no, I'm talking about passes it on to Reginald. Yeah, as... Ah, good. Because he can see Reginald. To be honest, I don't know if it's a touch, but I'm trying to add a bit of flavor. Let's have a look. No, I like it. I like it. So, Reginald, or, or Professor, as you're sort of stumbling around. Uh, as I see someone enter the dim light coming down from that hole. Yes, you, gonna... do. You, see, you see a dwarf shape enter the dim light. You've uh -oh. probably realized you've now got dark vision. Which is probably quite strange. Oh, just as it as it it's just popped happens. on. Yeah. Great. Uh, well then, Ooh, how I did, will. How did he get dark vision? From me. From nice. Eric? What what was that, that spell? That's what I'm thinking of. Like dark he, flavor. He was, he's just kind of thinking. God, I wish he could see. You know, and I would share eyes of the night. Nice, nice. And so as so as the professor it's, suddenly it's whoever I can see within ten feet. But if no, I, I love that. It, I'll move forward. And no, I love that. I love it. So as, as you walk forward, you see, you see this dwarven sh shape move into the dim light, and you're like, "Oh my, Herrick!" <laughs> and you're like, what? and suddenly you realize, Professor, that you can see him, even now that he's passed through the dim light. How did I not know I had dark vision all this time? Yes, <laughs> curiouser and curiouser. I must write this <laughs> yeah. in my journal. Yeah, it only lasts an hour. All right. Okay. So, I will uh, so cool, reach though. out to Herrick telepathically and just say uh, the tracks lead this way. All right, Flynn, what do you do? Um, you motioned ball. Flynn, right? Like, yeah, I did motion. Me. Okay, so I would have followed Flynn. In. Okay, excellent. So let's have so Fariel's right in the room behind as him. As quietly as I can. Excellent. I love that. So uh, I'm trying to figure out if I, yes I'll, I'll move to like this corner here and um if pharaoh has got the door on that side like I'm up against this wall here uh Flynn is gonna um gonna call out uh like hey I don't know who you are but we tracked you down here you got something to do with that speaker's death you should come on out Ryan, uh, just to let you know while that's happening. So I'm guess I'm not getting anything from anything abnormal from Tempest. Uh, no, nothing from Tempest yet. Okay, um, circling above. I'm going to kind of come back over here, and just with my rapier, just kind of slowly, kind of just start dragging it through the space randomly to see if I end up touching anyone. Oh, okay. So you're that should not. Are you just kind of a? Yeah, just just. Are you just doing your Inigo Montoya like father? Please guide my sword. And so. Like, uh, well, I could be doing that. I, I was thinking it was just uh, kind of in a, the the thing that we have talked about that I haven't done yet. Kind of in a practice of that, but very dig slowly. It. Dig it, dig it. So you're um, like doing a slow, like almost like a Tai Chi kind of like. Yeah, but but always dragging the blade of my sword through what should be an empty space. Dig it. Because if someone's invisible, I will bump them. Hmm. All right. All right. So as, as you sort of as you're tracing your blade through that space, uh, Xander, you you, you it, it feels like easy flow and air. Okay. And and so I'm I'm gonna just move around this hold while the other stuff is going on. Fairy so I'm, I'm letting you know that that's my intention. Love it. Love it. So you're sort of like moving through the fairy owl, Make a perception check. And then Flynn, with your 21 from earlier. All right, how we do? An 11. Thir okay. Thir so, 13. 13. Oh, 13. 13. Lovely. So with a 13 and a 21, you see on this table here, uh, there appears to be a map of Icewind Dale. And as you're looking at it, you're like, Okay, so it just seems like the generic map of the of the Dales, but 
there seems to be a, a little red marker. And you know that that spot is Bryn Shander. And that spot would be East Haven. But you don't recognize the language that it's written in? And as you go ahead and count out the spots on the map, you realize that all ten towns are on this map. Um, and it's at that point that you can roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Should Madeline and I roll in as well? Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, let's let, let's have everybody roll in, uh, just so that we can uh, roll out. All right. Roll out. Oh, I did do twice. Okay, uh, it did roll twice. Um, so the first one was a is a sixteen instead All of right. that nineteen. So, so hang on, let me let, let me let me run this bad boy down. So let's see, I've got. Oh oh oh, hang on a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cool. clear. I'm gonna clear this bad boy out because apparently there's still a, a commoner amongst the feed. Oh, right, come oh. on now. I know. I know. I, so ho so hold on to the hold on. Let me. Let, don't worry. I, I I got you. I got you. All right. I was going first, even though I'm not in the room. Hang on, hang on now. All right, so Xander, what was your uh, what was your uh, uh, twenty one sixteen? Alrighty, oh, 20, twenty one sixteen. Professor, would you roll? Professor, I'm not showing on the turn order though. Yeah, on mine. It, it, the easiest way of doing it is click on your token, re-roll again, and you can edit and then change it. Yeah. I can edit, edit yourself. Okay. Yeah, so I I've just re-rolled. Well, so y'all right. just holler them out at me, and I'll okay. We can we can edit our own once we're on the thing. We just have to click the number, but only one person at a time can do it, I believe. Oh. Ah, that's why he's taking it away from me. Yes, yeah. So if, yeah, let. There we go. So mine was six point one five. But now it's seven point one five. So you know. Uh, Ryan's uh, now something. they're all zero. Right. So that's why I was asking everybody for their roles so that I could put them into the to the event tracker. But it's all right. I ain't oh. mad at you. So go ahead and eleven. Punch him in. All right. Let's well, do we it. yeah we don't have access to this menu. Okay, we have no worries. So eleven, Fariel. Um, eight point one eight. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, professor. He's professor. muted. He muted. He was 8.13. I hit the button. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm not mad at you. Not mad. Just disappointed. All right. 8.1. Lovely. All right. And Mr. Mister Flynn. 16.16. Uh, 16. That was crazy. Zalvana. 6.15. What? Lord. All right. And Xander. 2116. There it is. There it is. Love it. All right, then. So now let's put that in descending order and do this thing. So at the top of the order is Xander. So Xander, with all of your Tai Chiri, um, you are like feeling the air around you and absolutely nothing seems to be amiss. Um, so and you haven't heard anything as of yet. Yeah, and that's fine. And I'm just I'm gonna continue to do that and vary my pattern so that if someone were watching me, they wouldn't know which way I was gonna go. Just a precaution. Absolutely. All right then. So next on the list is none other than our sinister assailant. A dugar! So Ooh. it goes ahead and leaps out at Flynn uh, as he uh, reveals itself, and it is going to go ahead and attack. Actually, surprise, motherfucker! Yes, surprise. <laughs> so it's gonna it's gonna war pick uh, with you. So it he swings, swings, swing, swings, swings, swings. Swing or not? Come on. There it goes. There it goes. A 19 to hit. Mm. Does, that, does that hit you? Yeah, that hits. Lovely. You take whew, 10 piercing damage from Dead. his war pick as he leaps out at you and goes, Rusagar! and like buries it right in that shoulder of yours. All right. Dig it. 
up now, uh, as if in retaliation, Flynn, you're up next. Um, I'm gonna be like, Flynn! I don't know what he yelled at me, so I'm just gonna yell my name back at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull the Brendan Fraser and just scream at him. I like it. <laughs> um, and since he wants to take an ice pick in me, I'm gonna return that uh, triple fold. I love it. I love it. Um, because first, I'm gonna attack with my rapier. Any combat music, DM? Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Keep me honest. Oh, that was so oh, nearly a 20. 11. Okay, well, that's fine because I've got, I'm going to use my bonus action for my second rapier to come at him. Uh, 14. All right. So we've got. So that, ooh, so 14 will not hit. That's fine. I've got an action surge. Fighter, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, me too. I got action surge. Getting beefy on me. Yeah, okay. yeah me too. Me I'm too. A fighter. 18. 18 will hit. Roll that damage. All right, and that's going to be 11 points nice. of damage. Oofta nice. doofta. All right, so yeah, he, he felt that bad boy. That's why you keep two swords on you, Skull. That's right. That, right. Okay. So he, now with that action surge, is that just that one act attack? Uh, yes. Thank yeah. goodness. Okay, good. Sorry. I, I, I said, I've, I've dealt with monks before, and they just keep hitting those bastards. All right. So, <laughs> nice. So, in retaliation, so you, you see the the Durgar rocked and bury his war pick into Flynn's shoulder. Flynn's like, ah, oh, fuck, and then immediately stick his rapier right back into him. So, the two of them are sort of stuck on each other right now. Uh, up next is Herrick. So, oh. everyone hears this this dwarvish yell. Uh, Herrick, you would recognize this as as him sort of saying, like, die, interloper! And so... Can I hear that I as well? No. Yes, yes. You hear these shouts of both, like, cries of war and then also the stabs of pain and, like... The I, I also understand what he said, so... Oh, oh, oh. Well, look at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he spoke to me to me earlier. I said, oh, excuse that out of the way, Missy, and I'll move my way through and keep moving through. All right, so that's going to be... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. All right. Dig it. And then uh, moving double through your uh, uh, through your fellow party members? Uh, only one of them. That, all right. All right. Love it. Oh, that's curtains. right. That's right. Because yeah. it's just a curtain there, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. So roll that beautiful damage. 16 to hit. 16 is a contest. Oh. So Ooh. in my games, uh, when we go ahead, when you get... When you match the AC, the armor class of the enemy, or vice versa, you roll. To, there's a roll off to see if it's just enough to punch through their armor, or if it manages to skate off. So Herrick and I will do a straight roll off of a d20, and we'll see who wins the day. All right, let's see here. Herrick comes in with an 11, and ooh, the Durgar comes in with a four. So Herrick's. Uh, is it your war pick? Oh, yeah, 11 damage, yeah. max damage. Oh, man, oofed. Oh, that's not good. So, like, as as the rapier goes into his one side, the war pick comes down on, like, over his back shoulder, and he... <laughs> oh! There's only one interloper here. <laughs> <laughs> nice, what nice. What are you saying? What's going on? Is it, did he say something? It's a, lot, it's a lot of words I don't know happening right now. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, uh, next up is our drogue, Fariel. Okay, um, I'm having a little trouble on the map just with all of the... In front of... What is in front of Flynn, exactly? In front of Flynn is a is th this this creature here, is the Durgar. Well, like, the wall there, because uh, all I can it's see is, curtain. like, all of the bars. Oh, it's so a curtain. It's a curtain. curtain. You can so it's, it. a, it's a curtain that had gone across the bed that you could, like, draw closed when you went to sleep at night and then push aside. And so as the Jurgar like, charged Flynn, it, it kind of, like, burst through the curtain and hit him. And then you had uh, uh, Herrick come through and, and stick the Jurgar as well. Okay, so would I be able to come right next to Flynn right here? Absolutely. And... Oh, my God, yeah. And just okay. beat the hell out of this poor I wasn't Durgar. sure if I could, like do that or if there was like a doorway it was kind of just hard to figure out okay so i'm gonna take a slice of this guy with my short sword oh my god okay you sure you don't you don't said me. you wanted combat ryan oh baby yeah no i do like i'm All gonna right. get a little wrong 
He might have key. Oh, 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 damn it. All right. Roll, oh, that, roll that beautiful short sword damage. He might have had kids. Yeah, right. Oh, no. That, that's all he's got now. <laughs> oh, wait, did that? Oh. And the damage comes in. Oh, my goodness. Oof. So even with a, a, a crit fail on the damage there, so doing only five points of damage, your blade she slides. should have sneak attack there. Why is it not doing sneak attack for you? I don't oh, know. Yeah, I don't. You, would, you would get sneak attack. Yeah. Did you did you click on the button? Because I just did it for you. Interesting. I, yeah. I don't know what. Well, I just, I just I did it. I can. I can. I think I can roll it here. I have a different button for yeah. sneak attack. So you How know where bizarre. you know where it says an eighteen and it says short sword in pink underneath. Did you click on that? No. Oh, I, oh okay. Yeah. So once you roll that, yeah. click on that, and then that'll yeah, be. So Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So on D and D Beyond, y'all, uh, when you roll into roll twenty, you you go ahead and get your initial roll, which is the eighteen, which was fantastic. And then if you click on the pink box below it, it'll roll your damage. And then typically we'll do for rogues sneak attack, or even dr rogues. For dr rogues. Uh, for dr rogues. Uh, but with uh, with the with the five damage only, you got him. With the additional five damage, you finish him. How how do you kill this Durgar? Oh, mighty um, Ferriel. I'm gonna look at Herrick and be like, who are you calling Missy? And just like, stab him. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> it's my kill. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and this poor Dragar just like slumps to the floor. I tried to bind his wounds. Oh. <laughs> I know it's an NPC, but. No, yeah, it's. it's you're more than welcome to, but with the with the extra damage, it pushes him just over the edge. Uh, Professor, you're up. Um, let's see. Well, I was gonna step in and I'll look and see him slumped over, and say, uh, "I guess I guess we're not talking to this one." And I'll uh, step back out to make sure there's nothing else going on. It must be something wrong. The the fight music still playing. Yeah, so uh, we're just... still in initiative order. And <laughs> are we sure gonna, are? Aren't we? I'll take my I'll take my action to. Suspicious. To dash, I want to look. Step down here. Uh, actually, okay. uh, to make my way toward these like boats. All right, uh, Xander. Yes. Roll me a perception check. Okay. Okie dokie. And then, okay, so Professor, you take your run down to... Oh, the... oh, baby, that's nice. a quick nice. perfect mm. 24. That, that is it. So, uh, from Tempest above, you hear her say, Tracks. Footprints. On the wood. Did any fall into my trap? Um, ooh, yeah, I gotta roll that trap. Um, Come on. I'm, uh, is, is it my turn then? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. this fucking thing. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, yes! 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 Does he kick out of the trap? Yes! <laughs> yeah, best bit of kit ever. Please tell me that, uh, that Tempest says something about the trap now. Is it some idiot stuck in a trap? <laughs> Footprints, Tracks. footprints. Oh, don't worry about it. He's stuck in a Tracks. trap. Tracks. Tracks on the wood. Invisible. Oh, nope. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, As you hear the, the metal and this scream go up of, oh, oh Safa. And he, and the, which is dwarvish. It takes full damage. <laughs> uh, which is oh. max damage on a hunting trap, yep. if you're oh curious. Oh, my God. Um, awesome. Uh, I, I uh, hate it so much. Uh. All right. All right. So I am going. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not my turn. That was a, a jump in, or was it? What's that? Yeah. So it's, it's not your turn. That was that was simply the perception check. So now, uh, Zalvana, <laughs> uh, who, ha who, who has heard this through the great. Oh yeah, you absolutely hear oh, yeah. the Mava as like echoing through the bot from, from the top of the ship, and then you, you right. hear another set of footprints running. Wait, and here another another set of footprint, footprints running as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, oh. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna pull out my rapier and 
run upstairs if I can. <laughs> Can I do that? Yeah, you absolutely. So, so if you've got, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We'll get you to the top of the stairs. And as you get around that corner, actually, so go ahead and make your move and put yourself right there. I if you're pinging, see. we can't see it. Oh, uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah, I, that's I, I did that. 25. Myself right there. here. Yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah, that's 25. I think you got 30, haven't you? Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I have 30. Put you right there, and then sure enough, you see, standing right in front of you... Oh. Wait, don't I need to be above deck? <sighs> yeah, I think. If I'm running up the stairs. Back over to the other map, I think. Yeah. Uh. So you'd probably be there. Yeah. One second. All right. I'm running. I'm running. I'm here. Cool. All right, so right there is the, the Durgar in a trap. <laughs> And she's like, rrr, 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 rrr. all right. So I'm at my I'm at my max thirty, aren't I? Absolutely, yeah. You're at your max thirty, so you can awesome. You can try to dash to get to him, or what? But oh, I can dash. Is there cool. another There's Ryan? Another set of footprints. Mm. Sure, sounded like there were. Yeah. Um. <laughs> if you dash, you won't be able to attack. So. If I dash, I won't be able to attack. Yeah, correct. Right, because that'll take uh, your action and your. Uh, um, so if you've got any, anything yeah. ranged, you can use that against him. Yeah, you, so you, you do have a spell that also lights things up. Oh yeah. Yeah. That are. Oh. Um, no. I'm looking. I'm thinking fairy fire. Fairy maybe fire would be useful. Oh, fairy sure. fire. I don't. I don't exactly know how to use fairy fire. You can just plant so. it in, probably in front of you, like there. Each object or... All right. I mean, you know, well, let's where do you the where fire. where's where know. did she hear the footprints? So uh, it traveled towards the uh, the 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 back entrance of the uh, the oh, that aft yeah. entrance of the cabin. All right. Where she is. Yeah. Where she. All right. Is. Um, I'm just gonna do fairy fire because no one else is up here yet. <laughs> and all right. So, so if you do it here, it's a twenty foot cube. Yeah, I need to. Sorry, my brain. No, you're okay. Uh, fairy fire. So, Schmeh. there you go. So, so Ryan so. needs to make a save. I, I hit the button. I know, I yeah, I don't know what your no. your save is. If you click the spell slot, so where it says I, cast. Yeah, d- oh, you did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah she I did. did. Her spell save DC is fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. All right. Oof. So I uh, I'm t- I done rolled a twenty three crit for my uh, dexterity save. So as the spell goes off, like you, 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 you now see the, the Durgar that's in the trap sort of, as he's sort of sparkly and all shiny, but uh, you don't see any other Durgar. Oh, dang. Do I have, I have an additional action? Nope. Nope, I'm done. Yeah, uh, so that is. Well, you got a bonus action if you got a bonus action. That is the kit and the caboodle. All right. So if you've got anything so, you can do with a bonus action. Um, sh- oh, the only thing I have is a healing word and bardic inspiration. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> no, that's you done. All right. So, underneath the deck. Doom. Another Durgar pops up right behind Fariel. And he goes ahead and tries to stab her. Ooh, with a 24 to hit. Ooh. And it does. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Uh, uh, I think I, uh, yeah, I feel like that's going to do it. I think that's going to Ooh, lordy, lordy, lordy. All right, so it does six piercing damage. And in addition, you take... 10 psychic damage. Oh, holy oh. crap. Ow. So, as he as he does that, he sticks his blade in and says, for my for my brother. And then he runs and he tries to go ahead and flee out this door, which will give you an opportunity attack both Flynn and Fariel. Yes. So that's that's uh, 5 10 15 and then 20 25 gets him, uh, well, actually, 25 gets him right into... Do I get one, then, uh, if he passes yeah, through absolutely. here? Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. Yeah, I get one as well. <laughs> uh, I'll give. It's, I'll give, it's five give foot more, angle. It gets a cover. I guess it it's around. Yeah, so it's around the it's around the angle. But yeah. yeah. So we've got the seventeen. I see a seventeen from Furiel. I see a. Oh god. That, so that's a hit. That's a hit, no, and missed. that's a miss. All right. So both Flynn and Furiel hit. So you get sneak attack again. Oh, damn, you do. All right, so that's 9, 18, oofta. That is 23 damage. Yeah, your brother was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, run, run, go on, run. <laughs> All right, so this guy, like, he so he sticks and then tries to run. And he, ah, ah, and he, like, starts stumbling up the doorway. As he stumbles up the doorway, he almost directly runs into Zalvana. Nah. Uh, as he runs into Zalvana... Our... Do, 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 do. One second. For... So as uh, he runs into Zalvana, the Durgar that was on deck reveals himself. Aha! And he attacks Zalvana, saying, uh, as you as you can hear him shout to the one who's coming up the stairs, "Run, run, Darth!" And so rude. Right, right. And so he is going to go ahead and attack you. Uh, so he tries to hit you with his war pick. He roll <laughs> an eleven. So Zelvana, does that hit you? Uh, does no. that beat your AC? Fourteen. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Uh, and then the uh, the other Jurgar <laughs> is going to go ahead and attempt to make a strength check to get out of that fucking trap. So DC uh, thirteen strength check. All right, strength check. Come on. Oh come on. yes. Okay, with a 14, he manages to, like, gets out of the trap and just, oh, God. So he, that's, his, he's, that's his action. That's his action. That is his action. Yeah. <laughs> Getting out of that trap is, is, is all he's got. All right. So uh, now back to, so my friends. Are you going to advance the turn order? Oh, absolutely. So at the, uh, at the top of the order, we're back to Xander. And you find yourselves dealing with a Durgar Meneth. Menace. Meneth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I obviously have heard all the commotion upstairs since I'm under the grates. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Five. And we're we're we can we're doing uh, angles for fives as well here. Yes. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I should be able from here to get to here. Okay, I'll buy that. Because it should be 20 onto the stairs. Yeah, yeah. And then 10 uh, more. No, that makes sense. Um, The Mind Master that's on the stairs, can I see him? So, uh, Zalvana is sort of in between. So, like, yes, you can see him currently. <laughs> To, can I tell that he looks pretty, pretty beat up? Yeah, yeah. Looking at the the, the Durgar around you, uh, you're able to sort of scan the field, and you see he's kind of like slumped against the doorway. All right. So, as um a, as I made a break from the hold upstairs, I'm just gonna yell out upstairs, so that my party can hear it. And when I get to here, onto the Durgar Mind Master, I'm going to cast since he looks the most beat up. Toll the dead. Bastard. So he has a DC 13 wisdom save. All right. So he rolls his wisdom. Really? That's his wisdom? Ugh. Ah, a 10? Ah, negative. Yeah, yeah that's a, a negatory. Uh, and uh, you'll be surprised points. to hear he's injured. So. <laughs> uh, two. Fucking two. Wow. I, I, wow. Out of a D12, y'all. No, no, out of a D12. Yep. D12. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, you you embrace your fail. That that hurts. <laughs> All right. All right. Um and then oof. So I, I guess then I'm going to say upstairs now. Dig it to, to uh, my compatriots. Love it. Next up in the turn order is Flynn. Uh, As the Durgar you were fighting is dead. 
uh, I'm gonna look to 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 the two two of y'all and be like, "Thank you for the help." And I'm gonna like beat my chest twice and cast uh or not cast but use a uh, second wind to get the half of my HP that I lost back. Yeah, no kidding. Oh man, um, has no one heard my calls? Oh no, I'm coming. I'm okay. not done. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Thanks for that, guys. Well, I'm gonna you gotta have to heal have a drink. himself. Come on now. I'm gonna have to have a smoke now. Nine. Oh, okay, buddy, that's good. This, nice. This, there's a treasure chest here. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Just point out the obvious now. Um, and then uh, let's see. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go up the stairs and just be annoying as hell. Uh, because would that mean I'm on the other side of the yep. stairway of him? Yes, um, and that, that gives you flanking, which will be uh, a plus one to whatever you roll. Technically, yeah, you're standing on top of him, so you would need to stand. Yeah, there. technically, yeah, you're. You're all up in his. Well, actually, no. Oh, no? it looks like it. I think so. maybe. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. So it's on the stairs. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. say for the sake of argument that he's not standing on top of him, but that we are indeed. You're flanking him with Zolvana and yourself. So here we go with the rapier. See what that does. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. yeah that'll. That, yeah, that's that'll hit. Uh, for only five, five damage. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, every little bit counts. It's like savings. <laughs> so like so like the so the he tolls the dead and he's and then the the uh the rapier goes through his other shoulder he's like, and he's like and he you hear him cry out, Father, help me Your daddy's not here. <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh next up is Herrick. Uh, y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think these guys are getting out of here. Uh, uh, um, how, the the, the Duragar or <laughs> how thick are these? They're only thin, isn't they? They're like they're talking. We're talking about a couple of inches thick. What no, the wood? Yeah. If you're trying to bust through a wall, I love it. I'm, I'm gonna need you to roll for it. Though. Uh, <laughs> can't do it if it was rule a call. I'm I'm feeling some some Falkran door, uh, some Falkran window oh, catch no. right here. Yep. <laughs> you can take uh, a die. So uh, 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, All right. I can't do anything. And then because, yeah, so. That's what I was thinking. And so you, because it's such a tight confines, uh, you. Uh, it's it's I, I would say that you you're unable to sort of get into Flynn's space and safely swing a weapon. Uh, uh can you just poke with it? 30, <laughs> 35, Wait, oh you're 30, dashing. Okay. That's like, five, I'll, I'll wait a dwarf minute here. Right. Fifty, that's as far as I can move. There we go. There we go. Alright. That's when you leap up and burst okay. out of the under. The All fun's right. upstairs, old man. Alright. Uh very well. Very so well. reeling from this poison stab that sort of hit you, you feel Ooh. it dig into your ribs and yeah. then it explodes in your mind like a migraine that just like throbs the entire side of your face. We're just gonna kind of like the little nosebleed that I've got going on yeah. from this psychic damage. Yeah, I love it, I love it. Um, as I move past this table, I would like to just grab that map and pocket it. I don't know if I can do that. It's just kind of like a free action. Or uh, no, you what? can. I, I would say you. I would say you could. You could grab up an item. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to grab it and pocket it. Um, and then let's see. I'm gonna move here, and then it's double movement to get through here. So it is actually in so like to get through because there's an enemy that's actually on the other side of Flynn. Yeah. So you couldn't get through, and it's it's. You could you squeeze into his space and attack with disadvantage. Now what you could do is you could shoot him. But don't crit fail. Shooting him at this close is going to be disadvantage in the same nope, way. Nope, because right? it's not because he's not within five feet. Because you are currently ten feet away from him. Okay, well then I'll I do that. <laughs> so, yeah. You're the DM. You're the boss. If you say I can do it, I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, so you did have your short sword out. So, to yeah. my mind, you sort of like you drop your sword and then like bring up your bow to be yeah. like, stab me, will ya? Right. Huh. I'll All even right. let you rest the, rest the arrow on my shoulder. Uh, oh, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Steady it. it. Sniper I shot. Yeah. I see, like, I see, like, Flynn bringing up his shield to sort of brace her. And like, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and with that roll, that's Boom. like. Boom. And that perfect. 24 sinks in. She's like, you're talking to the champion of the Winter Festival. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hit trees. <laughs> I, love I love it. Roll that roll that short bow damage with that sneak attack. Oh, 14. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, 14. With that 14, he, like, he turns, and as he turns and looks and sees the arrow, just and it takes him right in the eye. That's just, exactly what I wanted. Uh, yeah, You're that's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> and so he drops. Doom. And he's done. Alright, and the professor. Um, I... I'm gonna head toward the back staircase, or the the four staircase. That's twenty five thirty to there. Mm -hmm. 10, 15, 20 and. Mm -hmm. Wait, I can so get. Kind of, so that would kind of put you right here at the top of the stairs, yes. just behind uh, uh, Xander. Yes. Yeah. Um. Do I have enough movement to like step out of the way of the top of the stairs, or am I stuck there? You come out at an angle off the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you could. Yeah, you could. You could. You could. Yeah, sort of jump okay. that corner. Yeah, I'll allow it. All right. Yeah, uh, that's a move and a dash. So bonus action, Excellent. Eldritch Blast. No. What's an Eldritch Blast? <laughs> and, and, oh, and, it's, no. and it's not a bonus action. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Zolvana. All right. Bread and butter um, spell. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what, what is that? I'm going to move closer to this Jagar guy. Dear. Person. Which, um, so are so, you moving to the one that's in the, so the one that was in what, the trap. To one that was in the trap because he's so, still, so I'm tell assuming her, he's, he's tell still her, hurt a little bit. May not, she may not know, Ryan, so you should tell oh, her. Yeah, so friends, anytime you move away from an enemy that is currently within five feet of you or within melee attack range, and you move out of that range without disengaging or some other special ability, they get what is known as an, uh, an attack of opportunity. Oh. So oh, I didn't know basically, that. as you as you turn to move away, they can sit there and go <laughs> and try to shank you. It's a oh. one shot, and it has to be done with a melee weapon for most well, characters. Well, I didn't know so, that, so, so I don't want to do that. If you <laughs> that's, that's why we're telling you. Yeah. Okay. So if you would like to incur the attack of opportunity, you most certainly can do that. As the DM and your friend, I would not recommend it. Okay, I'm not going to do that. So especially when you can stab that mother right there. Yeah. No. Um. My my rapier is you know out and Ooh. i <laughs> we're playing that game tonight are we yeah. Coral, I'm Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and you know try and get this guy Stab that digger. you know and stuff oh yeah there's a thing where i have to like actually highlight myself and then do the thing mm -hmm. and stuff all right cool Chip -chip you roll. don't have to highlight yourself you can just roll yeah oh can i Ooh, 21. Sniggity snappity. All right, so make that attackity. So uh, you go ahead and roll that damage. Click that pink box. Do your thing. In roll, in roll 20. Did you click it? Yeah, I hit it. It says nine. Oh. oh. oh right. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it it is. Took a minute. Really yeah. delayed. Wow. Yeah, right? That's like, That's wrong this is the suspense, my friends. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so with that nine, boom, ooh. Yeah, he felt that. That's that's ouchies. <laughs> All right, so that goes in. And now, the Durgar's turn. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, this Durgar <clears throat> is going to go ahead and uh, attack Zalvana. And the other Durgar is sort of looking around, sees things the way they are, and he is going to turn uh, and tuck tail and just dash. So he runs his five, ten. Did 15. he escape the trap? Yeah, he yeah, he did last turn. That was his action. Okay. So, but I'll do the I'll resolve the attacks on Zolvana first. So Zolvana, the Durgar who's fighting you is gonna have a war pick with you. He like war it. picks you, twenty one to hit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, I'll do some, I'll do some damage, and that comes down with uh, four piercing damage. Yeah, that's right. Eat it. Four. Yeah. Boom. Four. What? All right, so as as he sticks you there, this other Durgar is going to go ahead and move 
Five, ten, twelve, one. And so fifty gets him off the map. So he Aww. he he tucks and runs. Can they, have they got thirty? Because obviously I'm a dwarf and I've only got twenty five. No, so they've got uh they've got twenty five, but he dashed. So that gives him fifty. Fifty. Yeah. So uh, and that is the Durgar's turn, which means by the end of this match, and this poor Durgar, uh, I imagine he's, well, are, are y'all? You know what? Xander, do you think? What are you going to do? Well, well, what were you going to say? I was going to say, well, there's no way he survives this round. That's what I say. But unless you decide not to kill him. Which might be wise. Yeah, we need one of them alive. <laughs> do you? Uh, oh, do we? <laughs> yeah, I guess I just don't have anything to bind him up with. Um, could do some non-lethal damage, which would just... Yeah. Somebody's got some rope. But. Yeah. Well, that's true. That's true. Um, all right. Well, if that's what you think I should do, then I will just toll that guy as well. DC 13 sa uh, wisdom save. All right. So he does his wisdom save. Can you non-lethally nope. toll the dead? You can't. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. He rolled a 12. He was so the unconscious. Close. So close. He, he hasn't had that much damage, I don't think. <laughs> that's that's bold of you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, it's, certainly, yeah, well, the way I can't. Rolling, it's fine. I can't roll above half on a d12, so that's a that's four, a everyone. Yeah. That's a big old four. So as, so as that toll goes off, boom, he's, ah, and he goes down to like one knee, and ah, and you see like blood start to trickle out of his ear. Uh, I am also then then with that, I'm gonna advance on him, mm -hmm. and then just, you know, kind of hold him at point. Excellent. Okay. Cool. And then Flynn. Uh, yeah, uh, after seeing uh, Zalvana take an ice pick, I'm gonna run up the stairs uh, and get to an op like a clear area. So yeah, so if you if you dodge around Zalvana, you can go this way, because that's, that's a pole. That's gonna be hard to get around. Right. Go like, you could go through around here, so that's five, and then ten, so that'd be like, so yeah, if you, you could get yourself to there. Yeah. And so he's on his knees, and I have him on point. Right. So I'm hoping that you're not just going to come up and just shiv him. No, 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 no. Um, better, better hurry up and tie him up before Harriet gets there then. Yeah. <laughs> bro. So can I tie him up? <laughs> Absolutely. Go ahead and... Uh, uh, Does he let him? Yeah, roll me a... Roll, let, let, let's do a grapple check, friends. Oh, God. But, no, so, this is going to be a bookend to the to the dwarf wrestling, and I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, so uh, roll roll a strength check, and then I will roll. Uh, or you can roll a strength. No, because the grappler has to do the strength, and then the other person can choose either strength or dexterity. I'm gonna so do he dexterity. is going to choose his strength. He rolls. Oh my god, are you freaking serious? Well, I rolled an eleven. Well, he rolled a nine. Right. You, you can't <laughs> use dexterity for grapple. I can't. Uh... Oh yeah. So oh yeah. You have to roll a strength. So oh, roll I have to do strength. strength. Okay. That's not gonna. Do it. Not gonna... Do, it. do it. It's fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Oh, God. See, Four yeah, points higher. Ladies and gentlemen, Flynn the Dwarf Flinger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Let that not be my title. <laughs> <laughs> that is your right. title from here on out. Yeah. Professor, write that one down. Yeah. It's in the book in. already. That's oh, going. No. It's done. All right, right. <laughs> and that will be the end of our game this session thank you all so much for joining us for cold hard witch hopefully uh these uh these this fine band of adventurers can figure out why it's mind over matter in terms of the uh the the durgar issue that is currently plaguing east haven and uh Say, to continue to stay alive and figure out just who is the copycat cold-hearted killer join us next saturday for cold hard witch